Hello and welcome to Build Up to a Good Game and West Ham United against Zagreb. The final match of the group stage. Gonzo will be along. He's late. He was due to be with me. He's late. So when Gonzo does finally arrive in the live chat, feel free to comment that he was late. Anyway, the team is out. The starting team is out. So I'll just run through anyway for those who don't know. Um, five youngsters playing for West Ham. Six players from the academy, obviously including Mark Noble. We're five youngsters for West Ham this evening. So in goal, we've got Alphonse Ariola. Here he is. Here he is, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, he's finally turned up. I am. What's your excuse for tonight? What do you mean? I'm only one minute late. In fact, 40 seconds by the time I logged in. Anyway, do you want right. to know the real excuse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the dog was having a poo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's raining. Um, not that the dog was complaining about the rain, but I was saying, "Come on, hurry up, hurry up!" And one of the dogs is called Bubbles, so I'm out in the garden shouting, "Come on, Bubbles, come on, Bubbles!" Which is probably more or less what I'll be shouting later, mate. I'm not looking at the anyway, chat. Though. I don't know the team. It's okay. I, I'm waiting. I was just away to read out the team, so let's read out the team. Um, in goal is Ariola. Ariola continues in goal for the Europa League campaign, and the back four are made up of youngsters. All four defenders are youngsters this evening. We've got Harrison Ashby at right back with a centre-back pairing of Yamal, Baptiste and Elise with Langello left back. A complete back four by Sam, full of youngsters for the 23s Alex Crowell partners Mark Noble in midfield this evening. Sonny Perkins is up front for the Hammers with an attacking trio midfield of Yarmolenko, Paolo Fanals and Nikola Vlasic. Gonzo, what are you thinking? Oh, I like it. I'm happy about that. I am happy about that. Why not? We get we get a chance to assess all of them. If David Moyes is, is comfortable doing that, absolutely. I didn't want to risk either of the centre-backs, by the way. So um, I just thought he might throw a curveball in. He might try and, you know, whatever, do um, uh, put Crow in there or something. But obviously, clearly not. Uh, I think it's the right thing to do, particularly if Dawson's got a knock. No point risking Diop as well. So wrap them in cotton wool ahead of the, the Burnley game. If you're not going to play Crow, then, then you've got no choice. You have to play those two. Um, Ashby at right back makes sense to me as well because Johnson's out. Uh, Fredericks is is well, sort of, he's perennially injured, really, isn't he? So um, you, you can't really risk Sufal because he's the only right back we've got. So you have to play that. I, I thought he might go with Masuaku because I think he'll play Cresswell at the weekend. Um, and particularly after his his uh, his wonderful goal the other day, um, him curling it curling it in past the past the Chelsea goalkeeper, the the bendy past Mendy as I like to call it. Um, I think that's absolutely wonderful and and an experienced midfield as well, with um a little bit of cheekiness up front. Love it. Yeah, I love the lineup. Uh, five youngsters, six from the academy. Obviously, we've got Mark Noble in there as well. So we've got like. <laughs> The last person to make it from the academy, um, bar Declan Rice, of course, but he sort of half cheats. He joined the academy when he's quite old to Declan. But anyway, um, four youngsters makes up the back line. Makes sense to some extent. You know, they played regularly enough at under 23. So it's not like they don't know each other. They don't understand each other's game. Elise knows Longello. He knows Baptiste. Baptiste knows Elise and um, Harrison Ashby as well. So they, they'll be comfortable as a back four, as a team, as a unit. They should be pretty comfortable holding the line, pushing up together and stuff. I expect to see a perfectly functionable back four from West Ham tonight. There might be some defensive errors, but we'll take it. You know, it's massive experience for them. And obviously Perkins up front is exciting. You know, the, the people going tonight will be buzzing about seeing the youngsters. And I think it's the the highlight of the evening. And to some extent, the result doesn't matter in a way. It's, it's about giving these young lads a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, taking advantage of your five good results so far in Europa League. And this is a reward. As Just before we come on, I was watching the Leicester-Napoli game, 2-2 two two at half-time. Leicester get beat, as it stands. If Leicester go on to get beat, they're out of the Europa League. You know, that's what Leicester are up against because... It's going to match day six. We don't have that tonight. We don't have any worries. We can relax. We can enjoy it. Um, we'll go through the bench. There's one person. There's a few youngsters on the bench as well, including one really old guy that I hope to see. Um, on the bench for West Ham is Dan Randolph and David Martin. We've also got Sufal, Masuaku, Diop. Then the three youngsters is Forsen, Sawyer and Potts. And then we've also got Lanzini and Saeed Benrama. Well, um, excellent. I made uh, 
unexpected, really. I, I didn't think he'd start so many. Uh, I'm really pleased he has. I'm really pleased about that as well. And um, it's a chance for people like Vlasic as well. I, I really feel that to get a supply to young Perkins there. And um, there's a lot of experience in there, really, when you look at it. I mean, he's he's a Croatian international. Yarmolenko is such an experienced player as well. Fornells now plays for, did you say Fornells is in there, right? Uh, Fornells now plays for Spain. Um, Mark Noble doesn't play for Spain, but he's a very, very experienced player. Um, I, I think it's excellent. Crowell International, he's, he's played well, he's played in three different countries now. I think it's really good. And I, I feel sure. I was in a World Cup winning squad for France. There we go. I mean, this is this is fantastic. That, that it's the whole unit. I think that's the shock there. I did. Am I surprised he's played? Um, Actually, I am surprised he's played five youngsters in the starting lineup. I, I guess I am. I expected five to feature, um, but I thought he'd sort of, you know, dip them in and out sort of thing. So, um, but I'm pleased. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really pleased. And just, you know, for the, what a signal this sends out on two fronts. Number one, to the players that are there. Basically, you're going to play European football. They didn't expect that. Whenever they signed their scholarship forms or whatever it was, they did not expect to be playing. Europa, maybe a qualifier, or, but but actually Europa League football on a, on a Thursday night on a telly on BT Sport. Massive day for the families. Of course, they're going to be there and not watching it on BT Sport. But massive day for all those families. Sends so out a massive signal to them. So David Moyes can stick to his word, which is I'll give youngsters a chance at this place. The other thing it sends out is if we are looking to attract other youngsters to the academy, which we do, we do like a little poach here and there, um, then you, we, we can honestly say, come to West Ham, you get a chance. You get a chance as people from the academy playing regularly in the first team. And you know what? You know, we'll, we'll give you a chance in, in European football as well. I think it's I think it's really, really good. Buzzing, actually. Yeah, I think I think that his hands forced a little bit with the defence. Like you said, Fredericks is out. Ben Johnson's out. So, Sufal's the only fit right back. Can't really play him. So, Ashby comes in. Diop and Dawson are only centre-backs. Even Dawson supposedly got a bit of a niggle. So, you can't risk either of them. But left-back, Creswell, as of... Tuesday, Creswell wasn't yet back in training with the first team, so you can't risk him. So that leaves just Masuaku, so you can't risk him because Creswell's not fit. So his hands forced a little bit, but there was other things he could have done. He could have put Kral at centre back and stuff and shoehorn some players in. So it's so it's a good call. It's not a brave call by Moyes. I'm not going to call it brave, but I do think it's almost like a, a lovely gesture because I would suggest the players haven't got their chance of merit, and I would argue they have got their chance of merit to some extent. But it's good and more to acknowledge the youngsters, have them involved in. He's used them before. These players, he's used, David Moyes has given every single one of these players an opportunity at some point in the past, whether it's a cup game or pre-season or in the Europa League so far. Moyes knows these players, these youngsters. The bench is interesting. I want to see a Tom Heaton. I want to see a bit of Tom Heaton. Uh, Man United last night, Brought Tom Heaton on for his debut. Um, took Dean Henderson off, put Heaton on in goal for half an hour. I want to, I want to see David Martin getting subbed on tonight. Even if it's just 15 minutes to go. He's a West Ham fan. Get him on the pitch. Get David Martin in goal for 10, 15 minutes. Um, I, the thing, the one thing I will say, I don't really want to see, unless they're struggling, I don't want to see Perkins or the back four come off. I would like to see them get the 90 minutes, get Fernals off, get Martin Noble off. You know what they can do. We'll try and give Vlasic and Yarmolenko as much minutes as possible and get the youngsters on the bench, off the bench, onto the pitch. We don't need to see Ben Rama come on. We don't need to see Sardino or Masuaki come on or anything like that. Um, I'm excited for tonight's game, Gonzo. Right, before I read out the the, the Zagreb team, Gonzo, mm -hmm. Tell do, you me. Other, do you want to see my other team? I, I've heard about this. You had a bit of a result of the old opening of packs this morning, right? Yeah, I have. I opened up my packs this morning um, on UFF. And got excited about your player. For you that don't know, this video is sponsored by UFF. Links in the description. It should be in the live chat. I've done it right. It should be in the pinned comments of the live chat as well. There's a link to a fantasy football app. It's completely free to download. And it's completely free to join up. But it helps the channel out massively. Far more than you could imagine. Anyway, it's six aside football. You get a pack every Tuesday, which contains your players. And you have to use those players to build a six aside team. Then at the weekend, you might win some money. The top of the league at the weekend wins a thousand pounds every weekend. This is no way until the end of the season for your prize weekly prizes. So today, going to open up my pack. You can guess who I had. I've got a pretty good team, to be fair. But there's my team at the minute. I got Mo Salah. I got oh, Salah. Did you? Yeah, so my team for the weekend stands with Robertson and Alexander Arnold, Mountain Havertz, Lukaku, and Salah. 
It's, it's not a bad team. Cheating. Just cheating. It's not, bad, it's not a bad team, is it? No, no, it's not bad. It's not a bad team as well. And so, and it, and it should be said, Gio, it's not just the thousand pound price. They're giving out tenors, 30 quids, 50 quids, 100 quids. There's been a number of people at Hammers Chat who have won prizes, like lots and lots of people. Uh, the link, it's a link in the description of the video. Yes, it's in the description. As they're the more than likely comments. to find out because I can't find it on that live chat. You say you pinned it up there. I can't I, bloody find it. When they first got in touch, I sort of pleasure myself. I'm going to log into this app every week, open my pack and take it serious. And I have been. And I keep winning free packs. You go in a mini league as well. And if you win your mini league, you get a free pack the following week. I keep winning free packs. So currently I'm opening up three packs a week at the minute. So I've got like, even my squad, I've got Kane, Son, Jimenez on my bench that I can't use. So I've got loads of purse. So anyway... Um, it is only available in the UK, though, unfortunately. So if you're trying to download it, I see some of you are saying you're not in the UK and trying to download it. Thank you for trying. It's UK Thank only you. at the minute. But they are trying to expand to the uh, United States of America very, very soon. Anyway, right then. Um, Johnny said his goal pack this week gave him three doubles. He's going to moan about them. Yeah, I've had a few duplicates as well, to be fair. Uh, at least you didn't get Troy Deeney. I've got Troy Deeney. So it's not all Mo Salas <laughs> and Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm not going to show you. Um, everyone, everyone see, oh, I won 30 quid and we did the chat. And I won 150 quid. I won this. There you go. Glenn saying money. top 300 people win money at the weekend. It's free. Get involved. House channel. Right, we're giving out a prize say... at the end of the season, by the way. For the we top are. We going. are. Um, we're going to get in touch with UFF at the end of the season and say who downloaded the Hammers chat. Not who used it. Hammers chat. Download it. Who has won? They'll tell us, and we're going to get them a match worn shirt by a first team player at West Ham United. We'll send it to them mm. free because uh, they simply got involved. Right? Would you like to know the Zagreb team? Oh yeah. Uh, would you like me to attempt to? Give I'd you like the you to team? attempt to read it out. Then I will try it and attempt it afterwards, and then we'll get somewhere. Right. In goal, they got Livakovic. Uh, the back three is Perit. Perich, Sutalo, and Theophile That's Catherine. Peter, Fal Peter Fal Catherine. Oh, he's, he's good. He's good. He'll be pleased the youngsters are in the West Ham team. <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't. Do you reckon I've, I've gone too far? <laughs> so I, I probably shouldn't have said that. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, poor Catherine. Sorry. Kath poor Catherine. Kath um, anyway, not one to watch there. Oh, Catherine. The Catherine will be all right. If she's an older lady, <laughs> in the, in the left. Zagreb don't have a cougar playing the back three tonight. Um, no, she'd no be cougar. safe. Um, St Stefford, uh, left wing back, Rostovsky, right wing back, and Gorzak, and the Debbie in the middle, Orosic, attack midfield alongside Ivanisic and. Andrich up front. I, I only remember Orsic. That's the only player I remember from the first game. And it was number 99. Looked quite good. But anyway, there you go. Uh, it's, there you go. It's, um, it's one of... Unfortunately, we can't do that for the bet because I, I don't want everyone writing that word in the chat. Um, I don't think that'd be good, would it? Um, maybe, maybe we could call them like... Um, Gilfy, Gilfy Catherine or something. Is that a way around? Uh, it? I know it's, it's all right. I've got me phrase anyway. But anyway, um, that's his Zagreb team. Any thoughts on it? Not really. Not really. No, not at all. Not at all. I, I, he, actually, he was all right. I thought old um, old Jimmy Savilovich. I thought he was one of their best players last time. Actually, um, <laughs> sorry, Major. Say what words that Gonzo? You know what word it is, Major. You know what right. that word is. Time for a little bet. Time for a little bet. What are you fancying, Gonzo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 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 yes. Uh, that, that, that's it. He's, he's some player. I think, we've got put, I think we've got to put in Sonny Perkins to score a goal. Yes, do it. He's 10, do it. He's 10 to 3 to score a goal. Anytime. 10 to 3 is... Stupid odds for a striker. It's stupid odds. Mm. For context, Antonio is just over double your money every weekend. Ten pound on Sonny Perkins as a single will get you forty three pounds back. Massive odds for Perkins just to score a goal in this yeah. match. So putting Perkins in there is there anything else you fancy? Um, I think we'll concede. Okay, right. That. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I think so. I mean, it's they've got to. Get something out of the game, haven't they? We've got a young back line, so I'm okay to go with that. Yeah, but anything else? 
Um, what about what if we go big for the prize for the you know forever wins it? What about if we do um, Vlasic to score as well? Uh, yeah, and that's, that's twenty. I know, I know it's more unlikely, but it actually give you good odds. That's that's twenty to one so far for the three things. Why well, great is it? Is there anything else you want to put in, or just go for the hundred pound cash? On, go on, you, you, you pick. It's like, well, it's, it's, yeah, to be fair, it's not me that gets to. Uh, it was me. I'll keep adding it on until it got me a million quid, just in case. But um, we want someone to earn some money, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm just trying to have a quick look to see if their left wing backs are naughty boy or not. Not, not like Catherine. Um, no, because. This is where we've got an advantage, right? Believe it or not, sometimes I think punters have an advantage over the bookies. So tonight, we know Perkins is actually quite a good goal scorer. He's, he's, priced, up, he's priced up as someone that's never scored at senior level for West Ham, which is fair, he hasn't. But it's not a true reflection of his potential, is it? The guy's been in, banging in goals mm. from the 23s and playing for England at youth level as well. And this is where we've got a bit of advantage because we know... Harrison Ashby gets forward really well. He's a really attacking right uh, right back. Gets forward good, quite quick. Um, so I'm just trying to have a look and see if this geezer. Uh, he's not too bad, I guess. Um, this is relying on all the apps telling us the correct lineup, though, because I've no clue if he is actually a, um, a left wing back or not. Let me just check, see what that bumps it up to. And if it's good, we'll chuck him in. We'll leave him in. Uh, yeah. Ari, Ari, well, Ariola to score if you want to do something. It's a really no, game, I've it? got it. This uh, this this has just bumped the odds right up. So we've got Sonny Perkins to score a goal. Both teams to score. So Zagreb needs to score a goal as well. Yep. Vlasic to score a goal. And we've also got Steph Fulge to get boot. Um Daniel, his first name's Daniel. I believe he's playing left wing back, and he is number is probably about to give you the number. He's number three. If number three gets booted for Zagreb. 380 quid, Gonzo. We'll do it for two winners, or we'll do three. Three winners, 125 pounds. Yeah, each. yeah, absolutely. Three absolutely. winners, then that bet wins. We'll give three people 125 pounds each to enter the potential bet giveaway in the live chat. Please put the following phrase Um, Ariola's on target. Ariola's on target. Get that into the live chat, and you're entered in. If the bet wins, we'll give someone. Big bucks, simple as that. Also, make sure you're downloading that UFF um, app as well. While you're at it, please. Thank you very much. Anyway, Chris is saying, hopefully we can get a clean sheet. It'd be great for the young ones. Do you think? Is there any of the youngsters that starting tonight? There's five of them. Has a realistic claim of being part of the squad at least on Sunday against Burnley? A squad, yeah. Only either of the centre backs have a massive chance and should be and will be in the squad. Um, I don't even think that's a chance. I think that's happening. I mean, the question is whether Perkins will make the squad because it sort of makes sense that he should, really. Um, with look, we don't know if, if we've got a striker coming in, we have to prepare for the, for the worst eventuality, which is Antonio getting injured. Um, David Moyes is is making out that it's gonna well he's been making out for eight since Haller left it. It's difficult to get a striker, so he's singing the same tune. Um and I, and I think we just need to find out how good this kid is. And I think if he plays well, I think he's he's on the bench. Look, we, we know Moyes will do this because we remember Roder Becco being on the bench. He put him on the bench a lot last season. So he's willing to put it on the bench. I guess the the question for Perkins is uh can he make David Moyes have more belief in him than David Moyes has en ended up having with Oda Becker. And I do think the, the 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 Man United thing was massively, massively difficult for Oda Becker. And for David Moyes at the point where he subbed him on, then subbed him off again. I think he was he was really hardly gonna be enamoured by what he saw, and he was gonna really struggle to make a mark on West Ham. Perkins does well, and I like what Moyes said. Um, Moyes said, I told Perkins he should have scored that, but don't worry about it. You know, um, I like that. He's had the same expectation as Perkins as he would have had with a with a forward. I also remember hmm, possibly Newcastle, possibly a Newcastle game. 
Uh, it, and it was under Moyes' first stint, and Declan Rice played at the back. And I think he got, oh, I can't even, a, a strong forward. I can't even remember. I think he got, he got kippered really in this game. And Moyes, Moyes didn't in his comments afterwards treat him like a young lad. Oh well, you know he's a young lad. No, he he spoke about him like a centre back. Um, was there was another game as well against Arsenal? Declan Rice ducked the cross come in and Rice ducked and bounced in. But I don't know it that might one. Be that. I, could be I don't know. But it, 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 in fact, there were a couple of games. But I, I seem to remember thinking that somebody else in that game played badly as well. And it might have been, I got it in my mind, it might have been Ginger Pele, it might have been Masuaku. But he went He went for Rice. Out of a, he basically, I thought, wow, not only is he not going easy on him, he's going harder on him. So um, this is sort of what he does. I think he does it on purpose. So None, none, none of that. Oh, look, he's a youngster. It was a big occasion. I understand why Perkins missed it. No, Perkins should have been scoring that. I told him so, and he'd be just hopefully he's disappointed to score that. He'll have to score next time. We'll see. Yeah, I don't disagree with him either. He probably should have scored it, you know. And it's those we all let them, we all let him off as a fan base. We'll go, well, he's a young lad. Don't worry about it, kind of thing. Um, and I think it's the right thing to do. But I think as a manager, you've got to say sorry, mate. But. If it's no nil against Burnley, you miss that chance. You've cost us two points. You know that's the reality of it. I need someone that's going to stick the ball and back the net. And the question is, who's more likely to score of it? You or Yarmolenko? And I feel mm. the answer is Yarmolenko. Then you ain't getting on the pitch yet. Um, Major's asking this last sixteen draw alongside the last thirty-two. I don't believe it is because for some reason I've got in my mind that the draw for the last sixteen is done about a week before the first game. It's very close to when the games actually are, but we know we're playing at home in the second leg. We played the first yeah. leg away from home. The second leg, we're at home. But the problem is you don't know who you're playing, so you can't book anything. Um, so Barcelona. No, we all know it's going to be Barcelona. But book it. Who, that, book the hotel in wanting? Catalonia, Major. Is that who you're wanting in the last 16, Barcelona? Oh, yeah. I, I oh, want, I'm not going to yes. lie, right? I want the crappiest team. I don't I know, want you said that. I want you the said crappiest that. I know, team. I know, I know. You said that about other. You say it all the time, and I get it. I understand. I understand your logic. But the... Uh, but the, the oh, we'll beat know. Barca in the final. It's all right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, I, I don't mind that at all. <laughs> Actually, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Um, my, my, my next sentence, I, I feel Barca are there for the taking. Well, do you... <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, I don't I'm, the worst thing is I don't really disagree with you. Um, anyway, um, Rich is saying that Perkins was as a left back due to Sky and BBC. They are, you know, it frustrates me things like this. Do you know uh, when we were um, we were on when we were playing Chelsea, we were on BT on Saturday. We were playing Chelsea, so we played a back three. The BT had the the squad come up and they had Dawson on the left. D up in the middle and zoom on the right of the centre back. I thought, how do you not know? How do you not know how West Ham's back three will line up? It's so small detail, just irritates you. And Rich, as Rich is showing that Sky and BBC tonight having a clue who Sonny Perkins is, and thought I will just chuck him at left back. He's, someone's playing left back for West Ham, and, that, and that's why that's why the betting odds were high. Is, is, is it right? Well, um, Chippy said Moyes wants a man who can manage himself in the squad, not a man that he needs to manage. Absolutely. Um, Andy says, I'm love if we don't play again till March. Time to get players back in bed posing. And Budagaco um, says, I know we should be playing young players anyway, but I love all the players that he has put out tonight. Sad to know Fanals won't be playing at the weekend. Well, I wouldn't say I that. Underst I, I understand where you're coming from, but I wouldn't say that either. I think his hands forced a little bit, really, David Moyes. He's going to have to do something. Um, in fact, in fact, I'll go far as say Fournells will play at the weekend. Whether he'll start or not, I don't know. Fournells will feature in the game at the weekend. Um, Artist says, last 16, I would love someone easier because it would be really a step up from the group. It's different competition after Christmas. Um, Glenn saying to me, Tottenham aren't in the competition. Way Or, or any competition at the moment, I feel. <laughs> no. Um, Victor saying that Barcelona are Dortmund for him. Right, um, you guys in, in the live chat, let us know what you think on whether it's the West Ham team, the Zagreb team, about the matchup coming, whatever it is. Get your thoughts in to the live chat. Myself and Gonzo will keep having a look at what you're saying and we'll keep discussing it occasionally. Uh, Tony says he's loving the lineup. I know 20 things have been smashing it. They all know each other's games. And Chris says nerves uh, regarding Sonny Perkins' header. Uh, but once he gets his first senior goal, he will be brilliant. That's Perkins I'm talking about. 
Uh, but Dako said he wants the hardest one possible because we've proven we can beat anyone, so bring them all on. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I want the hardest run possible. I just want to play Barcelona. I want to go and watch Barcelona. I want to go and West, watch West Ham beat Barcelona at the old Olympic Dome. That's what I want to do. Um, Leicester currently are losing to Napoli. It looks like Leicester are on their way out of the Europa League, so West Ham will be the only English side in the Europa League, possibly. Wonder, wonder if you'll see out the season there, Rogers. No. Oh, funny one, isn't it? Funny yeah, one, it's... but this this is why you've got to admire our consistency, and I do admire our consistency. They they would. Um, I'm not knocking Leicester. I, I think what they've done is miraculous. And since they won the league, they've sort of stayed up there and about there. But it's it's actually a testament to how consistent they've been. That you're now seeing this dip, and you wonder if the manager will will keep his job. But I, I do think it's a really really well run club. But fair play to West Ham actually for over two seasons. For they, they just pipped us, didn't they, last season? And and. I think if someone would have said, oh, next season you'll get Leicester, we would have taken that, certainly. Um, youngsters, yes, but also the people who deserve playing time. If crowd doesn't play today, you can be 100% sure he's going back to Russia. Disappointing. Jordan's asking how excited we are by Ashby. Now, we all know you rave about him a little bit, but I'm, I'm not taking a piss here. Being genuinely serious, there's actually a route in to Scotland's national team. I'm not talking about the 21s, which is currently featuring in. There's a route for Nashby to get in the full senior squad pretty easily at right back. We've got two right backs at the minute that we use. One's O'Donnell, who's crap. Another one's Nathan Patterson, who is actually a bit younger than Harrison Nashby, I think, at Rangers. Now, he looks like he's going to go on and be the real deal and wouldn't be surprised if he's in the Premier League one day, Patterson. But Steve Clark's taken him in the squad. And we started the Euros campaign with O'Don um, O'Donnell as a right back. We finished it. We started the World Cup campaign with Nathan Patterson as first choice right back. So Steve Clark showed that I shall play this guy, even though he's not playing for Rangers, because Tavernier, their captain, is the right back. So it's hard for him to get into the team. But he's using him because he's good enough. If Harrison Ashby gets game time for West Ham, do not be surprised if he's in this Scotland's senior squad very, very quickly, actually, because while... On the left, we've got Tierney and Robertson. On the right, we do not have a lot of options, actually. So there's a big opportunity for him tonight for West Ham and Scotland. Yeah, I mean, I just, he is, thought you'd like he to, is uh, sort of... He is English, though, isn't he? That's... that's It is, it is English, but he's... Moving sort of, on! Moving he's sort of representing on. Scotland on a little... You know, on. under the old... Under the radar. He might do a Declan Rice. Might well, actually decide he wants to play for England. Raheem Sterling. I think he's from Kent. Hmm? Raheem Sterling's Jamaican, but you know that's true. That is true. So you know, that's what you mind about and all that. Um, Adam says, <laughs> Adam says, long time watcher of this channel. Thank you, Adam. All of uh -huh. our youngsters can prove a point and get themselves in contention. We need a few additions, but healthy competition replaces is fab if they fit in. That's Scott fine as well. <laughs> hey, um, he wasn't in training the other day, by the way. Um, Tuesday, Fabianski was missing from training, just so you know. So there's something to worry about ahead of Sunday, but Fabianski was not training. Um, Scott said he's watching from Disneyland Paris. He took his little girl there. We'll be watching on some dodgy stream. Nice. Nice break, mate. Nice break. Disney Disneyland before Christmas. Cool. Really, how good. I bet she loves it, right? Brilliant. Um, well, I hope you enjoy it, Scott. We are currently mm. playing in what Gonzo used to refer to as the Mickey Mouse competition until West Ham qualified for it. Then all of a sudden, he quite liked it and become yeah, the European League. Changed my mind. It's like changing the one Tottenham's in is now the Mickey Mouse competition. Uh, it's not even that. It's not even Mickey Mouse. It's, it's like some dodgy Japanese animation or something. Sorry, Sat Puck, Pucky Punt, if you're watching this. Um, I don't mean you know. You know what I mean? Those Japanese animations. They're not. They're not great, are they? Not, not exactly Disney. Um, Jordan says, um, after meeting Jeff Hurst last night, I think it was his birthday yesterday. Um, what were you doing, well, with Jordan? Jeff Hurst? Happy birthday, Jordan. Anyway, it's not Christmas, Jordan. At least that's good. Um, after meeting Jeff Hurst last night, I asked him whether West Ham won the World Cup. He thinks we did. Was on top table with him, three seats away, 80th birthday. Oh, yeah. Bless him. Also oh. thinks we are massive. Well... I like that. What a lovely evening. Well, it's been having a nice time. Go to Disneyland, having dinner with, with Jeff Hurst and celebrating their 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Jordan. Um, would you call a success in semi-final for us? 
It's not a success, an achievement. I'd call it an achievement, Andy. Success, you've got to win something. I like, I like that. I'll just, whatever Gondra just said, that sounded good. I'll have a bit of that as well. Um, Irish Tommy says, if we win this game with about four weeks sighting, we'll know we have four very good young defenders. Absolutely. Absolutely, do you, Tommy. Do you think, right, just quickly, do you know, like, Mo, earlier you spoke about how Moyes did his press conference. I think, before Zuma's injury, I don't think we were going to go get another centre-back because he basically said, we need a defender now. We're gonna to have to go about. We're gonna to have to change the way we were going about things. I don't. I think he was okay to go with Diop, Dawson, and Zuma with a ball out for the season. I think he was okay to go with M three. So the reason for that must surely be that he's got faith in Baptiste or Elise to step off if needed as a fourth choice centre back. Now it's different. Zuma's out for a couple of months. It's sort of like crap. We need. We need to get someone else in. But I just thought it was a bit of a strange thing to say. It almost sounded like he wasn't going to bother going for a centre-back in January um, with a one out for the season. Oh, I totally agree. I, I, I read it Yeah, ex exactly the same, which is which is sort of good good in one way and bad in another because we know, we know we want we want a forward and we, we need you know someone else to take the goal-scoring burden away in case Tony gets injured. But it is nice. The good news is he's got faith in whoever it is, it's going to be really interesting. I mean, he might view them completely independently, Baptiste and Elise, particularly bearing in mind, um, as, as you said in your videos, one of them's uh, left-footed. Well, he is actually left-footed. He's not. It's not just that Gio said he was left-footed. He is actually left-footed. You, you don't actually I'm have six a... foot four. Yeah, you don't have a footedness until Gio tells you. But so now we know Gio has basically proclaimed that Elise is left-footed. Now he is officially left-footed and tall. Um... I, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind thinking that actually he views them as almost just different, different players, separate entities for to do different jobs in in that sense. You know, um, but I would. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he is looking more closely at Elise say, for there. Um, but the, the thing is, you look at these guys and they don't. They don't look like. I mean, like someone described Johnson the other day as a kid, and I look, looked at him and I. Oh, well done, mate. I mean, he's. Um, I, I I don't know what was he sort of five five ten five eleven five ten five eleven something like that. He's he's probably thirteen stone. He's not you know he's a, an athletic young man. He's not a kid. Do you know what I mean? So um, this Elise, it's it's going to be a big old unit. There's no reason why he can't start knocking the um you know if I if old Catherine starts getting a bit frisky. Do you know what I mean? You're barking up the wrong tree here, son. You know. Um, anyway, if you're enjoying this chat, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video as well. Uh, do what uh, Ricky's done. Ricky said he's been well into the channel since lockdown one. Lockdown one is it's bad that we've got to number the lockdown. But anyway, <laughs> lockdown one into West Ham his whole life. Uh, so happy to see the youngsters getting a run. Would love Perkins to score and then against Barca as well. Um, George is asking uh, if Hammers Chat's blue. Um, we finally changed the channel art, to be honest with you. Channel art has been long overdue to get changed. Charlie's giving it a fresh look of paint and he's gone for a new... It's got a bit blue. It's got clarity as well. It's half and half, but it, it looks good. It looks good. He's done well. Um, Michael uh, said... Ricky, it... hold, on, hold on for Ricky. we got some stuff planned for Lockdown 6, mate, so stay tuned. Thanks for following the channel. Yeah. Me and Gons will be playing FIFA 24 yeah. co-op campaign. We'll be rebranded. <laughs> Hammers Chat's gone yellow now. <laughs> anyway, Catherine's locked up as well. Zagreb's in chaos after their centre back star has been caught. Uh, Michael said he made an excited ooh. Would you like to do the impression of Michael Zoo for us? Ooh! So Michael did one of them. He saw the lineup. <gasps> he went all. He went all Scooby Doo. Um, so Michael turned into Scooby Doo when he saw the lineup. Um, it'd be very interesting to see how they do against European opposition. It's a good step towards. The Prem. Um, Fortune and said, bear in mind, Barca and Dortmund had the playoffs and goal shape before the round of 16. Yes, yes, yes. We're just assuming they're going to beat teams like Zagreb, to be honest with you. Sam's asking if anyone wants two tickets tonight for free. It's probably a bit late for them to get there, Sam, but I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, if yeah, you can get you. to the London Stadium in the next 31 minutes, Sam's got a couple of tickets for you. Anyway. Very kind. Very Connor kind. says, got to be careful. Don't want too many defenders once everyone is fit. See, that's why I always, I was always a bit cautious at this whole, we're going to get, when Ogborna get injured, I never really believed that we were going to go after it. And I still don't to some, with Zuma only being out for two months, 
this is why I don't think we're going to spend big money on a centre-back in January. I'll be surprised. All this Nathan Ake chat, I don't believe it. I still don't believe it. And there's more and more rumours about Ake. And I'm very stubborn. And because I'm stubborn, I'm refusing to change my what mind. What we do want, though, Connor, is lots of goalkeepers when everyone's fit. Just not defenders. Yeah. Um, Nat Phillips on loan um, until the end of the season, says John. That I can see. I can see something like that anyway. Um, Dan loves a bit of the hammer shot. I'm not surprised that Scooby Doo impression. Why would you not love it? Um, I like the Rob thought. says, "Why does everyone want the, want the hard games?" But I'm all for the easy possible ones till final. The glory, oh, Rob. The glory. Not every, not everyone. That's not everyone at all. I'd say more people want the easy games. Um, I don't, you can just dig me out if you want, Rob. Yeah, I want the easy ones. Like, am I on mute here? Hi, Rob. 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 I want, the, I want the easy games. He wants the easy ones, Rob. I do. I do want the easy ones. Um, Jamie's on the heard good things about the two young centre-backs. Hope they cut the mustard. Also hope Sonny is... You can't rising. cut mustard. You can't cut it. You can, Unless you freeze it, you can't cut mustard. Jamie. Uh, Professor Wolf loves the kids show referenced by Gonzo. First the Mickey Mouse trophy, now Scooby-Doo. Why are you getting the credit for the Mickey Mouse trophy? <laughs> well, the people I'm can't hear what we're saying. This. Clearly, clearly, you, you apparently you've said we want Barcelona, so it doesn't really matter. Um, people just give up. It, it's, it's, it's just seen as one stream of comments. It's neither you nor I. It's just what does Hammers Chat think? What's the Hammers Chat opinion? Yeah, so someone's going to come back at the end of this show and says that Gonzo's right. I don't think we're going to go for Nathan Ake in January. Absolutely, but well, we've had it before. You know that's happened so many times with different things. Yeah, I like it as long as I get credited with the stuff that's correct. Um, Chris is saying you can cut mustard. And yeah. Um, Gads, who's on the bench? Um, let me see if Charlie's set it up. There you go. The bench. That's Charlie it. set the bench up. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and I told Alicia he's left footed from now on. So, you know, me and Charlie are influencers. You are. You are. I'd, I'd actually put people on the bench in formation. I'd get all OCD with it. If, do you know what I mean? Like, if you were looking at the bench and there was sort of Diop and then Ben Rama. And then Sue Fowl, I'd say, whoa, 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 what were you doing? What were you doing? No it's defenders. Got go, it's got go goalkeeper, right back, centre-back, left back. Absolutely. Defensive why mid, are, you, why are you sitting like that? You <laughs> dropped. <laughs> right, that's it. Full bear, wake up, for God's sake, man. Stop having a sleep. <laughs> yeah, well, I was yeah. only real Madrid, to be fair, but you know. Yeah. Um, Imagine Barcelona. I'm not saying it wouldn't be amazing, Tom. I'm just saying I don't want them in the last 16. I don't want them. I, I and who's to get... say it would be a full house, Tommy? Come on, easy team like that. I reckon about 30,000 turn up to watch do you know, that, do you know that something? walk in the park. Barcelona or Sheriff or anyone else in the last 16 at the London Stadium under the lights in full house will be amazing. The opponent doesn't matter. It almost doesn't matter who we're playing. The atmosphere will be buzzing because it's the last 16 of the Europa League. We could mm. we could play Burnley in the Europa League last 16. The atmosphere... We, we, probably, be couldn't. we, probably, we probably couldn't. We um, probably couldn't. Yeah, I don't think they're really qualify. What? There is a way fans tonight. I believe there is. I um, don't see why there wouldn't be. I know, I suppose they've all got isolation stuff, haven't they? I don't know. I don't know what the rules the rules are. Yeah, I, did, did he say it's a week? A week, it's a week before it kicks in. I wasn't too sure. No, but they changed it like last week about the if you come back from all day, you've got to do a test on day two, haven't you? They did, didn't they? They did, they yeah. did, yeah. But I don't know how it counts if you want because I know for when we went to Belgium when West Ham played in Belgium, if you were there for less than 48 hours, you did nothing, there was no test and needed nothing, you had to get in and out under 40 hours, though. So, um, so I don't know, I don't know how it, how it um, stands. Um, Victor thinks Aki could be true though because Rob Newman was at Man City. I know head of recruitment. Yeah, but Rob, Rob Newman was a scout. It's not like... Yeah, and he's very small. Think... Aki is very small. He is. He is. Those dreadlocks make him look a couple of inches tall. They, they, they don't. With the dreadlocks, I think he's 5'11". No dreadlocks, he's about 5'7". Um, it, it won't fit in. He won't fit in with a style at West Ham. Yeah. Um, Adam says, thanks for reading my comment out. I'm planning, after a long time of watching videos, of becoming a top-level patron, as is my inherited son, who's become a West Ham fan in the last three years. An inherited son. Well, thank you, Adam. Thank you. Um, 
I like it. I like it. A top level patron as well. Um, you won't be disappointed. Well, unless you don't like people saying ridiculous stuff, we say more ridiculous stuff um, on Patreon. To be perfectly honest with you. Thank you, Adam. And apologies to your son um, becoming West Ham fan. Uh, Imran says, recall Alves from his loan as we need to send it back. I'm not keen on that. Is he crap? And he? He's done crap, I think. I'm yeah, not, well, we did this like video, him. didn't we? We had that Sunderland fan and he came on and basically said he's not been very good. And um, JP, JP said he's a pitch and he wants a Gian Gonzo calendar and hot beach clothing. Oh, he's Cookie Monster. It's Cookie Monster. Cookies. Do you, know you can, Cookies. Do you know you can follow Cookie Monster on um on Twitter? Cookie Monster has got a Twitter page. Who's in charge of Cookie Monster's Twitter page? What? Cookie. Well, who's in charge of it? Who's the? Well, Cookie. He's not got his manager. Cookie Monster runs his own Twitter. He's not got a manager. It's not like Cookie Marcus Monster. Rashford then. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, Cookie Monster wants to feed all the children as long uh, as uh, all of them, as long as it's cookies. <laughs> what kind of cookies? Maryland ones? No. It's got to be Maryland. No, no. Was it you that told me about the Domino's ones? What did I tell you? That they're very nice. Yeah, oh, Domino's cookies are unreal. Yeah, it was you. Well, now, now, yeah, now it's all yeah, coming back to me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are very, they are very nice. Um, yeah, look I at mean, these chicks getting fatter all the time. It's Domino's cookies. I'm telling how, you. How close is your like, closest Domino's? Uh, about when I order them, about twenty minutes away to arrive at the door. <laughs> oh right, you, you, it's not. I yeah, got one very close. Yeah, do you know that it's it's about ten minute drive, right? It's not the end of the world, right? But. Society is a very lazy culture these days. I'm very much in the middle of that. Hello, ma'am. It's that bad, right? So to get to get Domino's, to go on Domino's to get delivery, you've got to spend a certain amount. So you can't have just one packet of cookies. They won't deliver just one packet of cookies. So, and I don't want pizza, but I've had my main. I'm set. It's an hour later. I'm still a bit peckish. So I want Domino's cookies. I have to have two boxes, and then one box goes in the fridge. And I tell you something. They're better. Put them in the, let them cool down. Put them in the fridge. It tells you how you reheat them up on the box. It tells you how to heat them up the next day in the, on the box. They're better on day two than they are when they get them out of the box. Well, how much is a, how much is how much is a box of cookies, and how many do you get in there? Four cookies. And I think mm. it's six pounds for for one six six pounds six for one box. <laughs> four four cookies are six pounds. Yeah. Wow. Do us a favour, will you? Can you um, sign up for this Ultimate Fan app, please? Because uh, we get we get fifty pence every time someone signs up, and um, and I'm gonna uh, quite frank quite frankly, if I by doing by doing my maths, I'm gonna need twelve years to sign up before I can have a box of cookies. The cookies are oh, they're delicious, though they are delicious. It's you're not just eating a cookie; you're eating a mouthful of heaven. <laughs> it's okay. the effort. Anyway, um. Cody wants a Gian Gonzo sexy firefighter pinball machine. There's a sexy fire. There's no sexy firefighter pinball machine. I will tell you something though. I've got a project planning. I'm seeing if I can do it to do a retheme, which is when you strip the theme off of a pinball machine. So that one there is Avengers, right? There's there's an old pinball machine called World World Cup Soccer. World Cup Soccer '94. I'm thinking of stripping it down. Um, and retheming it as a West Ham pinball machine, but it, it would take a long, long time. So there you go. Anyway, I'll leave you to your pinball machine. Back to West Ham for a minute. Uh, Andy says Moise is, Moise is saying the youngsters deserve the right to play tonight, and they do. Um, but that's thanks to the performance of the senior players in order to give them the opportunity, kind of thing. Um, and someone asked a really good question, which is. Just ask what's your own score prediction. I think that's. Um, I, 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 this this is contra controversial. This is some controversial stuff, by the way. What? He said Domino's pizza is not pizza, in my opinion. I like that kind of comment. That's my kind of comment. Yeah, well, I know what you are like with your crisp gate. Um, Paddy says, hey, this morning came in for the bill. Been here five minutes listening to you guys talk about Domino's cookies. <laughs> well, to be fair. Paddy, Paddy, do you normally tune in? Because this is how it goes. 
we'll be honest, we don't know anything about Zagreb, but we do know a little bit about Domino's cookies. So at least we stick to what we know about. We often get told, stop talking about things you don't know about. So we're not. He knows about cookies. I, I love Domino's cookies. Um, Andy says Domino's is pizza trash. Crikey, people. Um, A, oh, it's hey. just Cheech is right. I talk about cookies, but end pinball discussion. I do. Yeah, I and he pinball. said, let's talk about West Ham. It was West Ham. It was about West Ham pinball. So someone's had, too, someone's had too many cookies. I've not had enough cookies. That's a problem. I am grouchy. Cold <laughs> turkey. <laughs> grouchy. I did have a... I did have jam roly poly tonight, though. I have to confess because oh. her, um, the father-in-law was round. Um, he mm -hmm. came round for tea, and whenever we have guests, for whatever reason, we have to do dessert as well as the main. We can't just do one course; we have to do two. So, jam roly poly was the uh, the dessert of choice this evening. Well, that's good. That should give you your sugar fix. Nice bit of jam roly poly. And a bit of custard. I do nice. really quickly though, because I'll tell you what, you can't you can't cut custard. No, you can't, but you can cut mustard. Apparently so. Supposedly. Anyway, what is everybody's score prediction? Sorry, someone did ask, but I can't find who did it. Get your score predictions in. Um, and while you do that, Stephen says, where do you stand on Charlie's baby bell addiction? This will write um, Alonso, because that is not cheese. It's not cheese. It's definitely not cheese. Um, in fact, I had this the other day, because the kids, I said, what do you want to take into your lunches? Cheese strings. Cheese strings, not cheese. I said, why don't I just get a block of cheese, block the mould cheese, I'll just cut it up into little... They said, but they can't get it round. They'll be like long squares. I don't know. But Baby Bell is not cheese, obviously. <laughs> I, said, I like that. I like that. Non-committal. It is, but... I mean, look. How is that not cheese? That is very clearly a cheese. Just because it's a small amount of cheese, I don't disagree with you. It's it, it's such a small amount of cheese, you could barely count it as cheese. However, cl classification wise, that my friend is about as cheesy it's as you get, clearly, apart from maybe one of your it's, jokes. It's red. It, it could be literally anything. Was e -dam, bro. It could be a poor ball. Don't eat the red bit. It's like good or e dam. You take that bit off, then you get to the cheese. That's I mean, apparently how I eat cheese now. I don't know. Ca camembert is cheese. Do you like camembert cheese? No, it's not baby bells. But camembert is, is like, I don't know. I, 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 no, I agree. Someone it's, who knows a lot about cheese here, I'm going to say this now, and they're going to go absolutely mental, right? Camembert <laughs> is the best cheese, right? But, uh, yeah, but I, you know what I'm like? I'm, I'm a... I was going to say a bad word that I should probably use. I'm a I'm a chicken when it comes to food, so it's too strong for me. It's too strong for me. Do you know what oh, I mean? I'm, I'm quite happy. No, with my Doug's baby a Doug. Doug's, Doug's a maverick. Doug's a renegade. Doug don't care. Uh, Doug tweaks the nipple of terror and pokes a finger in the eye of fear. Five baby bells. He don't care. Can we talk about how just poetic Doug don't care. That was beautiful, bro. That was like Stormzy in his prime. That was beautiful. I didn't. Storm, know that's what I say. I often, I often, I often, often, often confuse with Stormzy. Doug don't care. Doug don't care. It was beautiful. Anyway, Benjamin uh, says that he loves the van and waffle. We're not talking about waffles. We're talking about cheese. Um, you, know, you, know, ben, you know Benjamin is, Gio? You know Benjamin is? No. Benjamin, those first initial drawings of Gio and Gonzo, that years ago, it was Benjamin that did them. Benjamin is a very talented artist and drawer. Oh, I've still got that one, I think. Is that a Russ in our blue polo shirts or something with the yeah. big head? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. See, I do. I do know. Um, and Colin Wood says, Being on the wine chat in Hammershire would be the classiest West Ham the cheese and wine. Ever. The cheese and wine. I had a cheese board on Tuesday. I was at um, the Toxter Racing and Hospitality, and the fourth course was a cheese board. Charlie's face, I don't know what hang on, hang on. About the cheese. Hang on. basically, out of everyone, Charlie's out, face out of everyone here currently, the three of us. The last person I would expect to use the words "I had a cheese board" on Tuesday. It just arrived. At you talks at a, at you talks to race course. I had a cheese. I was in the cheese room. <laughs> it just it just it just arrived at the table. A cheese board for everybody to share. Did you have one of those fancy, you know, the fancy cheese knives, the ones that are like a bit curly at the end? Yeah. I don't know what they're actually. I don't know what they're actually. Called, I, I think it is a cheese it's knife. A cheese knife. Yeah. There you um, go. Do you have one of them? I, I've got a question for you, though, Gio. Were on the cheese on the cheese board. I'm sure there was a variety of the of the world's finest cheeses, or at least the Utoxian, uh, Utoxian cheeses, should I say? 
were there any baby bells on there? No. I what was the It's not a good cheese board then, was it? Again, look, I'm not right. look, I'm not sitting here and saying you're gonna buy one of these in Waitrose, like Gonzo here, who apparently only shops at the finest places, right? I'm uh, just uh, saying, mate, 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 I've got I've got little cheese strings in my fridge. Don't lay that one at me. I can tell you that. Well, then where's the complaints then, bro? Get involved. Well, I don't eat so much of my kids that eat that crap, not me. Oh, you're missing yeah, it. I must I must I must add it was Mrs. Geo's works do. That's why we were there. So it was paid for by Mrs. Geo's works. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I never paid it. Well, bloody that. To be fair, I, I made money while I was there because we we were forty pounds off when we left. Um not, not bad. I mean I we had a few big gambles and stuff at the end of it. And I put all my winnings on the last horse and it didn't win, but it's like ah, but she won forty pounds. So we, we, we got paid, we made a profit being in hospitality, having a Amazing. cheese board, which is good. Geo made a profit on cheese. That's the headline. Yes. Um, right. Okay. Um, Former working class Scott moves I've, to I've, England I've to make this. A I think Charlie just seen it as well. I think Charlie's seen it as well. I rate this I comment. Was there any honey come on the beat? That's a Jack mate joke. It's on my t-shirt, not this one. The black one that I sometimes wears says honeycomb on the breeze. It's a Jack major. It's quite a good one, Andy. Nine out of ten for that. Right, anyway, Gonzo, um, can I get your final thoughts on your score prediction, please? Because me and you need oh, to yeah. disappear. Oh, yeah, football. Um, yes, really happy. Good team. Youngsters. Um, victorious in the group. Champions of the whole group. Um, geez, and wonderful, all wonderful things. Come on, Perkins. Um, and and so many others as well. Uh, wonderful, really at me. I'll see you. I'll see you afterwards. Um, I, I I'm buzzing for it. I'm I'm really looking forward to tonight's game. Actually, I was prior to the lineup, even more so than I, I've seen tonight. I hope some of the youngsters put in a big shift. And when we do the match preview tomorrow for the Burnley game, we're speaking about how Perkins or Alice or someone has staked a claim and actually they should be on the bench at the very least on Sunday. That's what I want to see tonight. But also, while the youngsters are going to steal the show and the, the headlines, it's a massive opportunity for Vlasic tonight. Maybe not so much Yarmolenko, Fanals, Noble and Kral. I do feel that there's an opportunity here for Vlasic. I'm not sure the other ones can change Moyes' opinion on that player yet, but I do think Vlasic can actually show David Moyes something and be in contention to start at, at, at Burnley if he puts in a good enough game tonight. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, did you give a score prediction, Gonzo? Uh, I think it is. I think it is. So anyway, so I'll catch you all after. <laughs> um, um, the score prediction, I'm going to go with 2-1 to West Ham. Yeah, so my own going to go two one West Ham as well. Anyway, myself and Gonzo are going to disappear, but don't go anywhere because it's time for the watch along. Thank you, Gio. Thank you, Gonzo. And thank you very much to Stuart Morris Accountants. Of course, they do the maths for you because, to be frank, just CBA. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do you want to, You know what I mean? You get your pay packet. You want to know how many baby bells you can buy? Get Stuart Morris to do it for you. Based in Ilford, West Ham fan hooked us up. That's why they help us bring it every single match day. It would not be possible without them. Thank you very much to Stuart Morris Accountants. And thank you very much to all of you for joining. Hello. How are you? I do have baby bells. We've got two. We've got a, a baby bell sack. Um, I just grabbed it from the fridge. I didn't really think about it. And then also, I've got a Freddo. Why? Fancy the Freddo. But that's later. Right now, we need to get straight down to business because we've not got long. We've got about just over 11 minutes till kickoff. So let's get straight down to it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? But a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least confident, 10 being the most confident possible. How confident are you of a West Ham result tonight? Let me know in the comments below. Good to see you all. Uh, and while we do that, let's just have a quick cheeky look at the West Ham lineup, shall we? Now, full disclosure, I cannot click on the Zagreb lineup because they don't post it on Twitter. I remember that first time around, and they don't do it this time around either. But we can look at the West Ham lineup as such. Ariola's in goal. Ashby, Baptiste, Elise, and Longello in defence with a full a full youth back line. Uh, Crown and Noble in the double pivot behind Yarmolenko, Fornals, and Vlasic. Sonny Perkins up front. I assume it would be Sonny Perkins up front and not Yarmolenko or Vlasic. I guess it could move around. But like I said, we can't go through the... Uh, we can't go through the... The... Uh, the Dynamo Kiev lineup. Dynamo Kiev, Dynamo uh, Zagreb, sorry, lineup. So instead, we'll just lob it in like that. We'll just lob it in like that. I'm getting a phone call from Ray Borum. I'll take it live on air. Hello. How are you? No, it's, uh, it's Ray, everyone. <laughs> it's Ray, everyone. 
<laughs> Ray, quickly, before, be, before you go, Ray, before you go, give me your score prediction for the show. Yeah. Big plays, Ray. Big plays. I appreciate that. I'm excited for the kids. Oh, also, very quickly before you go, is Baby Bell a cheese? Yes. Thank you. Uh, doesn't count. I heard yes from Ray. That's all that matters. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Baby Bell. Bye. <laughs> there you go. Ray Borum. Just Ray Borum. Uh, so that is the uh, Zagreb lineup. I won't bother trying to pronounce them because, frankly, I can't. And I would be a disgrace. I would be a disgrace. And once more, in case you're new around here and you haven't watched the watch along before, if you are looking for a way to watch the match, if you're not sure, then what I would suggest you do is look in the description below. There's a bit there called join our Discord. If you have a little click on that, uh, go down on the left-hand side, completely free to join. There's a bit called stream links, and it has everything that you're probably looking for. Let's join our Discord in the description below. Let's have a look at some of these. Uh, let's have a look at some of these numbers, shall we? Right, let's scroll up to the top. Arthur, good to see you. I'm all right. I'm all right. Hungry? I just shoved half. I just shoved the. I just shoved one kid's wagon mama's meal into my mouth. <laughs> From now, I'm a bit hungry, but I'm fine. I am fine. Yes, Jordan. Jordan knows. Jordan knows. Right. Let's have a gander. Um, ten, ten, five, six. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Judas, my trustworthy friend. Ten, six, at least a seven. Says Ben. I like the at least. We're talking. You know, I don't know what the word is. I went to say a maths word, but. Can, I was an accountant. I should remember these things. Nope, it's gone. The point is, I like it. Seven, six, one baby bell for each half. Maybe, maybe that might be something we, we deep dive. Uh, Dover Kiwi, first row Dar and that seven. Uh, nine, six, good to see Trevor Brooklyn look well. Only got TV. I didn't, I haven't even got it up yet. That's something I need to do as well. Um, but what a man. Think back to old Pez's where he used to do the comments here. Um, eight, Val, good to see you. Hope you're well. 10, 69. Nice. Let's go. Uh, last, this is six, ten, nine. West Ham to win two. One more going to score predictions in just a moment, but a lovely cheeky sneak preview there. 8.628462856. This is Callum Skipper. Very precise. Seven. Um, I actually love that lineup. It says Andrew, 7.7, 7.69. Christmas tree lights are not on. They are. You can see a couple. The problem is, is this light here is so flipping bright. That is, look, if I do this right, if I turn off this light a second, it will look terrible for a sec. You can see there are lights on, right? Especially if I go like that, you can see some more on the bottom. We've just not got very many, and this light is so bright that it does, in fact, just the entire house gets very lit up by it. So it's what it is. It is what it is. Um, Chris says, hello, Charlie. It's me, Chris. I'm, I'm in Nashville, sorry. And the score will be 4-1 to the Mighty Hammers. Confident 10. Let's get some, let's get some, uh, let's get some... Let's get some score predictions, shall we? Let's get some score predictions in. And while we do that, I'll say this. Evening, Dave. Hope you're well. Um, someone put some lights on a tree. That is lights on a tree. I'll say this. Um, have you ever heard of Chris Jericho's band 6 out, six out of 10? Are you saying the bat Fozzie is a 6 out of 10? Or are you saying 6 out of 10 for confidence? I don't know. Either way, I really like Judas. I hated it when it first came out. And for some reason, I've just heard it enough times now to where I think it's a bagger. But yeah, I have. I'll say this. I'm very concerned tonight for the youngsters. I am. Um, if you watch the preview, then you'll know that I uh, I was I was sort of... I thought that we wouldn't do as much rotation as we have done. I thought we were going to see potentially Perkins and potentially, say, Elisi. I didn't think we would see Ashby, Longello. I didn't think we'd see all of these big changes, right? And part of that was what I thought we'd get. And part of that was also because I think lobbing that many people in at once is scary to me you know maybe it's because i'm having flashbacks to sam Allardyce putting in however many youth players he did in that knots game and getting absolutely whacked maybe that's what it is i don't know right but it's, there is a little bit of concern uh when i look at that lineup and i'm like ah that's a lot especially in defense now the flip side of course is that this defense knows how to play with each other they play with each other regularly not with the goalkeeper obviously or the midfield ahead of him but that back four specifically play with each other regularly in the under 23s so hopefully that will minimize the effect the destabilizing effect it has having that many people on the pitch having that many youth players on the pitch but it is inherently quite scary against the team again i know we beat zagreb the first time around i know we beat them relatively handily the first time around but that doesn't mean we're going to do it again likely uh, uh likewise um 
they are a decent team with decent players. We can't we can't act like they're nothing. We can't act like we can just put our 23s out against them and it not have any sort of effect, right? So when it comes to when we're looking at score predictions, when we're looking at confidence levels, I'm still very confident, you know, looking at that sort of Perkins, Yarmolenko, Lanzini, uh, Vlasic uh, kind of front line. Uh, sorry, for, uh, Yarmolenko, Fornals, Vlasic, Perkins front line. That's a bit more what I expected one youth player and the rest of it being seen as. And that is very confident to me. That brings me confidence. I think we will score. I think Sonny Perkins will get a goal tonight. How many will they score? I can't see them not not scoring. So I'll say 3-2 West Ham. And you know what? I'd love it. And to be honest with you, I'm just hyped to see him. Even if I'm concerned about what happens in the game, I'm just hyped to see them. Didn't need to do that. Um, and it'll be beautiful. So let's have a look. Uh, keep thinking back to that cup game. It just replays in my mind, Rad, all of the time when I see this sort of stuff. Um, any idea how strong their lineup is? As far as I'm aware, that's pretty much their first their first team lineup. Um, I recognize most of those names, so I would say it's probably their first team lineup. Uh, looking at the bench, I don't know for certain, but I'd say it's, it's relatively strong, Andy. They again have something to play for here. We don't. They do. Um, worried about injuries for young lads? To a certain extent, definitely. To a certain extent, definitely. Uh, two nil, bold lineup. Concerned too, and hope they can come for it. Says Jason. Back it. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, don't know why that's two. I shouldn't have clicked it, but we move on. Uh, three nil. Uh, who cares? We've already won the group. I care because I'd like us to win every single game we play. Miscellaneous, but I do respect the sentiment. Uh, Simon, good evening from Orlando. Good evening. Hope Orlando's nice this time of this time of year. Um, well, I think someone said it was raining when I spoke to him. I was speaking to someone in Orlando earlier. Was it Orlando? It was summer in Florida. And they were saying it's raining. So who knows? Hope is well where you are. <laughs> uh, got rest of senior players for when we destroy Barcelona. Of course, of course. Although, to be fair, that might not be till March. But yeah, of course. Of course, Charlie, give us away. Hello, Neil. Hope you're good, bro. Hope you're good. 3-1, uh, let's go. 4. Confidence-wise, 10 to 1 Perkins to score on 365 is tempting. I'd be tempted by that as well if I put money on matches, which I don't because I'm chicken but I would also be tempted. Um, they play with each other week in, week out. That's the kind of, that's the the other side of it, blue cheesy, um, which I would hope about. 1-1 one, one says Lassie. Uh, Zagreb will be aggressive and for everything else, but the academy players will withstand. I like the confidence. 4-2 uh, says Chris, as they will be chasing the game and hopefully we get them on the counter. Another good point. Another good point. The, the, the double pivot ahead of them, maybe not the most confident, uh, maybe not the most confident in holding. Holding. Big opportunity for ground. I think. I disagree with you on this. I think a big opportunity for Crow. Um, 3 1 to the Mighty Hammers. I agree. Uh, going for a 3 1 3 1. Going for a stronger 3 1 5. Love that, Dave. Um, uh, still not convinced about the lights and tree. Look, I, I'm never going to convince you, but there are lights on the tree. And the tree is very much what we could get for free. This is, this is our situation in life. Uh, it's what we could get for free that other people we know didn't want or didn't want to use this Christmas. So that and any other Christmas decorations we've got a couple up sort of about. Uh, yeah, so when you're looking at the lights are from the early 90s, the tree is from, I think, the late 80s. So we're talking an old thing. We're talking an old thing. We are just about a minute away from kickoff, ladies and gentlemen. So I will remind you once again that we are live all the way through this game. We are live for every single watch day, every single match day. We do a watch along. I would love you to come and get involved. Come get involved because I do this by myself. And I, to be honest with you, I kind of need you. I kind of need you. If you're not here for it, then I'm just going to be lost and scared by myself. And I need you here. So make sure to come back next game. We, of course, will be live on Sunday for the Burnley match. And of course, all the way through now until full time in which there will be a live review with Gion Gonzo just after this is finished. But between now and then, hey, hang out. Come get involved. We're going to have a grand old time. We're going to get involved with a bit of sub bingo, a bit of that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe some beautiful things to come in that realm. But we'll see where it goes. We'll see how it goes. Make sure to stick around there because we are about to kick off at the London Stadium in the last group game for West Ham United. Even though we've already qualified. Beautiful times. Remember, subscribe, like the video if you haven't already. All of that good stuff. And final reminder, if you are looking for a stream, make sure to scroll down into the link in the description below because there's a thing there. It says the words, join our Discord. It's free to join. Lovely Hammers Chat community, lovely West Ham community full of beautiful people like Ben, Apple 16, for example. He's in the chat right now. Click on stream links on the left-hand side. It has what you're looking for. Come and get 
involved. I will let you know with the timer here exactly how far behind you I am, because I will be ever so slightly behind you because, you know, technology. Um, but I will be about, I will be slightly behind, but I will be letting you know that will, that will tell you that will tell you. Mark Noble leading the children out tonight <laughs> at the London Stadium. I'll tell you what, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. The initial nerves of these Europa League games have completely dissipated for me. Completely dissipated for me. Um, maybe when we get to the matches, the knockout rounds, the 16, I'll be a bit scared, but just, you know, it's fine. Just think along the lines of Yorkshire man here and here or see now say now eat or drink or pay now love that big plays come on my man let's go good evening hope you're well my friend hope you're all good I haven't seen Scott but I have again or undoubtedly missed him because I'm terrible you can hear a lot of banging in the uni accommodation at the moment uh good to see I'm glad I'm glad as well Ben I'm very glad as well hopefully they're excited to see Sonny Perkins bag a bag a hat trick or two. I love the trees. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I won't. I won't. I'll just put my fingers not in my ears or my headphones, apparently, and just push the sound closer to myself. Bad idea, that. Bad idea. Deploy, Deploy the boys. Yes. Deployed, but the boys are about to be deployed. Moyes was looking for it, yeah. Moyes was looking for it. He was like, right, what boys can we deploy today? And I'll tell you what he did. He deployed the boys. He deployed the boys. And the boys are about to be deployed. He went, who can we play in defense? We need number, blah, 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 blah. The boys got deployed. Here we go. Here we go. They're about to... Kickoff is about to take place. Zagreb will be the ones to take kickoff. Big opportunity for Perkins. Big opportunity for the centre-backs. Big opportunities for Crow. Big opportunities for West Ham United. Can we get through the group unbeaten? It would be beautiful. And here we go. Zagreb to kick off. The knee has been taken. And kickoff is underway. Deploy the boys. It's West Ham United versus Dinamo Zagreb. Zagreb. I always say Zagreb because my brain crashes. There we go. There we go. Remember, if you ever want to call upon the baby birth, we get free votes for bell consumption. If you get if you get free votes to bell, it will go to vote. It will go for the go, and democracy will take place. Uh, hasn't there? Will been working in the, well, with the youngsters. Uh, he should know what they are. Good shout, good shout. I would help you. I would hope you would. I would hope you would. It'd be good, good opportunity, um, and good for them to have that kind of leader in front of them. Look, we can we can talk about Declan Rice all we want, being captain and everything else, and this, that, and the other, and that's fair enough. But specifically, um, Mark Noble is is one of the better captains in the Premier League for me. He's a beautiful man. Uh, I refuse to admit otherwise. And I think it's I think it's good to have that kind of leader just in front of the uh, just in front of the fence. Uh, Mark says hi, Charlie. Uh, following from Melbourne, Australia this morning. Nice. My prediction is 2-1 with four nails and noble to score. Let me know where you're watching uh, from in chat, by the way. Where are we watching from? I'm watching from a very rainy London. Very rainy London. Over on BT Sport 2. Um, where are you at? What's the weather like? Let me know. But good to see you, Mark. Hope you're well. Hope you're all good. Welcome, welcome. You are 90 seconds behind. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. But the stream is beautiful. Um, I mean, the TV is definitely beautiful because I have paid my BT Sports subscription. Choo choo. Good opportunity for a Ashby as well. I mean, I've heard, I think when I was looking into the videos, good hit from range from Zagreb, but really, I say good. It was very, it was a dribbler. It was a dribbler. Um, usually, I, I, when I was when we did that, we did that video the other day, Gio and I. Uh, I made the graphics, and Gio actually did the talking, and I did the graphics the night before for the um, uh, youngsters that could theoretically play in this game. Um, and I, I was looking up Ashby, and apparently Moyes at some point had, had a conversation about saying that he thinks Ashby was close to being first team ready or something. I missed that quote when it happened, but I saw it when I was doing the thing. And so it'd be a big opportunity for him. Look, Kufal, Fredericks, Johnson. There's a lot of people in his way, and that is kind of a problem. But um realistically 
realistically, it could be a great opportunity for him to put his put to put his, to put the stamp down and maybe get a, a good loan spell out of Championship Club or something, uh, and make it make it difficult to uh, make it make it at least some sort of difficult selection. And like Gio said, there is probably an option for him to get in and around the Scotland national team in the near future. So interesting. Um, why does the match have no sound? I can only hear the commentators. Uh, I can hear both, meme kid. I'm not sure what you mean. I can hear both, but fair. Well, it's 1-0. It's 1-0 to Zagreb. And that, my friends, was an absolute screamer. Again, if you have spoken about how you think we're just going to beat them away easily and how they don't have any good players or how Orsic wasn't that good in the first one, ladies and gentlemen, he's just hit an absolute belter. Orsic with the goal. Dinamo Zagreb. Zagreb. Oh, God's sake. I will figure that out eventually. It's 1-0. What an absolute belter throwing quick taking quickly into Orsic and just no one tries to stop him they just stay off him Yarmolenko's trying to sort of show him inside Yarmolenko's in a really awkward position where he's trying to show him inside almost Crowell who's pointing at him doesn't go good is sort of holding position Fornells comes across to try and stop it and Orsic just hits an absolute look you could say Masuaku didn't mean it my god did he he's just Bapped that in top corner, post in. My God. My God, it's 1-0. 1-0. Kickoff was taken so quickly that we come back to a West Ham throw-in up the other end. And uh, offside Pablo Fornas. My God. <laughs> My God. Well, I did say I was concerned about the defence and that they would potentially score uh, several goals. I did say 3-2. We'll see how it ends up from here, but we'll see. Uh, well, there's my Chris. <laughs> Fair. I think I saw Scott in the build-up to that. Did I? I mean, scroll, 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 scroll. Scott, did I see Scott? Scott, if I saw you and I've missed your thing, I'm looking for it. There we go, Scott. Hello. Liar as per usual, but good to see you. Good to see you. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. It's quite a baptism of fire for it. Again, I, I just always concerned if you put too many youth players in. I think the thing about Ben Johnson I've liked, his inclusion of late, and I mean, Ben Johnson has a significant, significantly more, well, it's a good hit from range again from Zagreb over the bar. Good hit from range. One of the things I've liked about Ben Johnson's inclusion this season, and obviously he has a lot more experience than any of these youth players do. Um, we're seeing like one or two, one appearance max, I think, amongst the people who are playing tonight is he's been the only one. And so you, when he's there, if he is a little bit out of position or he's caught out about the pace or the power of whatever of senior football, then there's 10 other players around him in order to bait him out a little bit. And that's super important. Same thing with Declan Rice. Declan Rice didn't come into a team which had super amounts of youth players. He came in with just the one. Youth inclusion is a very, very difficult thing to do. It's because... You can have all of the ability in the world, yet sometimes when you get included into the first team squad for the first time, it cannot go well, and then all of a sudden that's bad. Some of those players who played in that game against Allardyce could have gone on to have good careers in Premier League football, could have gone on to have better careers in non-league football or, or league football and non-league football or whatever. But if you get battered like that early doors, it can knock everything out of you. And I know people don't like to think about it, but football is just about as much as mentality as it is about physicality and ability. Right. So if your mentality is all out of whack, look at Ravi Morrison, for example, an incredible player, didn't have mentality. He's never done it. Right. And he's never done it. The closest he came was at West Ham. But even then, like what happened? The Sam Elias thing happened. He goes and then he's never seen in top flight football again, basically. So it's just about mentality as much as it is physicality and ability. And so if you do get it knocked out of you and your mentality goes, then all of a sudden it's a problem. So including this many youngsters at once can be a problem if it goes badly. But early doors will gibble by Ashby, who whips it in, was looking towards Perkins of Lassie. It's just good defending in the end. But what I would say is this. What I would say is this. Early doors is a smack around the face. It's kind of a wake-up call. 
I don't necessarily think it was any of their faults, to be fair. I don't think the defending looked unreal in the build-up to it. Don't get me wrong in the build-up to the throw-in. But the actual throw-in, the actual moment of the goal itself, Yarmolenko's in an awkward position. He's come back to basically play as an auxiliary fullback. His body shape is showing Orsic onto the inside. And then similarly, um, Fornells dives in because he realises Orsic has just got all of the space to come in, can't quite reach it. I wouldn't blame him either. I wouldn't even necessarily blame Yarmolenko, but if you want to put your finger at someone, it's going to be him. I wouldn't say it's their fault, but it is a smack around the face and makes their job just as just like significantly more difficult. So we'll see how it ends up playing out. I don't think it is the end of the world yet. Um, but still, I'm expecting a draw. I would take do you know what? I would take a draw. If we that means we score, and if we score, I'm happy, especially if it's Sonny Perkins. Um especially to some Perkins. Welcome, by the way, to all of the Zagreb fans in tonight. You're welcome here. If uh, you start a beef, then obviously not. But until that point, you're welcome here. Come, get involved. Welcome. Subscribe while you're here. Why not? Like the video. Like the video. We'll probably never play Zagreb again, but like the video regardless. Hey, maybe we'll meet in the final again. Who knows? Who knows? Crowell lays it out to Sonny Perkins. He plays it back. Ashby to Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko, oh, nice flick. A nice flick. And this is something that uh, Zagreb can do pretty well here. If they can pressurize that back line, if they can push it a bit more, if they can put pressure on those youth players who are going to be understandably incredibly nervous tonight, we could see... We could see we could see some mistakes. That's what they're going to want to do, and they are doing it here. They are putting pressure early doors on that back line. That's kind of what you want to do. It's kind of what you want to do. Watch from the deepest, darkest Dorset. No lights. No lights in Dorset. I haven't been to Dorset in a long time. Be through it many a time recently, but not, I've not, st not stopped in Dorset for a while because there were no lights. Marco Bugas. Don't flashbacks, Todd. Flashbacks. I don't need it. Vlasic down the left. Finds Pablo Fornals on the overlap. Cuts on the inside. Was looking potentially for Yarmolenko. Couldn't quite find him. He managed to, managed to keep hold of the ball well, though. Then decides to run through the center, flicks it, Perkins, tries to lay it off to Vlasic, can't quite do it. Crowell collects it just outside the area. He was shaping for a shot. He was pulling it back. But uh, referee stops the play for a foul on uh, Zagreb in the buildup. David Moyes puffing his cheeks early doors. Sonny Perkins getting caught a little bit out there. Here's what it is. Is what it is. Just like on your tree. There's, there's lights, bro. There's lights. What if I got them to flash? Would that be better if they're flashing? Because they can flash. I'm concerned if I press the button. Yeah, old, right? I'm concerned if I press the button, it will start playing a jingle. It has a jingle that plays sometimes. But I can press the button and make... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Baptiste pressuring, press, pressuring her Orsic and does well there. Tries to spread the ball forward to Perkins, who does well under pressure to collect that. Lays it back to Baptiste. West Ham just playing the ball around here. Flash. Ugh. Copyright on the jingle. I'm fairly certain you'd be barely be able to hear it anyway. Even then. I don't know if it'd get a copyright because it's so old. It sounds like a horror thing. Yarmolenko trying to cut inside. Does. Puts it onto his strong foot. Can't quite find the shot. Lofts it out wide. Longello on the overlap. Collects the ball. He's got Vlasic out on his left, finds him. Vlasic puts, tries to put it onto his stronger foot, can't quite find the space he wants. Zagreb defending well here, got a lot of people in and around the in and around the area. Noble spreads it out wide to Ashby. Short to Yarmolenko. With his weak foot, tries to cross it in and not. Look, right, fine, I'll, I'll put the flash on, right? You're going to have to ignore my Simpsons pillow. I'll put the flash on, right? Flip in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Deciding on the flash, hang on. That one will do. There's a lot of different options for flashing. You should at least be able to see it slightly. No noise happened, thankfully. I think I've turned the volume down. You can see it's flashing now. YouTube always finds a way. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Could be a long night. <laughs> Could be a long night for West Ham. 
we'll see how it ends up playing out. But it could could be could be a long night. Uh, meme kid, you're right about the timer. It's not upside down though. It's just cut off slightly. Give me a second. Let me fix that. I did it very quickly before the game. So that doesn't surprise me that it's a bit wonky. Then what I'll do is I'll do that. And then a bit of that. That's central enough. <laughs> Apologies. You are hundred percent correct on that. It's an uphill battle, but let's let's look at it in another positive way, right? Let's look at it in another positive way. If we are able to fight back and make something of this game, if we don't concede anymore, then that's a huge boost. Again, early door slapping, like Declan Rice, one of his early games where he he made a mistake for Newcastle to score a goal. Um, the Arsenal game where he was at fault for a goal. Oh, chest from the Zagre player hits it, it's well over. Uh then it's a, it's also could be good for mentality, you know, to be like, okay, we need to step up. So I'm just I'm trying to find the positives here. I am trying to find the positives, um, because I'm I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Uh, where's Antonio? Somewhere. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. He's not on the bench, um, and he's not obviously starting. Um, I suspect he's being rested and probably needs it if we're being money. If we're being honest, sorry, not money. I said money because the boys is written Charlie money. I agree. I am money. Or I need money. Both of the same. Perkins trying to press. Just, just the slow team press that West Ham do, forcing forcing Zagreb back to the goalkeeper, lofted forward. Elisi does well and easily to, to win that header and control it down well. Oh, Mark Noble with a ball over the top is beautiful. Finds Vlasic out on the left-hand side near the corner flag, trying to find a cross in, trying to put it onto his weak strong foot. He does. The cross is hooked. He's looking for Yarmolenko. It worked in the last one. He's trying to do it again, but it just doesn't quite work out. An awkward clearance from Zagreb, but it works out in the end. Orsic does well. He's up against Baptiste again here. He's going to have a, a tough time. He does really well to get on the inside. He, he wanted a shot, couldn't quite get there. Crowd defended it well. Laid off Zagreb on the attack. Tried to flick it in. He win a corner. They win a corner. Block by Longello on the cross from number 13 from Zagreb. It does hit his arm, but his arm's on his side. There's nothing really that can be done about that. Corner for Zagreb. Orsic is stepping over to take it. Here comes the cross. Whips in front post. It's a poor corner and a poor shot, and it goes out for a goal kick. It happens. Not quite. Uh, Judas says, uh, we're through to knockout stage. No need to risk injuries to more first-choice players. I don't necessarily disagree with that, but that is why I would have gone with a basically an entire second-string side plus two youngsters. Uh, the lineup I said in the preview, basically. That's why I would have gone with that. Um, that gives us confidence, gives a couple of young players an opportunity. Maybe later on in the game, you can introduce more free subs. But uh, but yeah, coming th coming th coming out of the other side, you know, that would that would be my opinion. But he's gone with what he's gone with. Fair play. He's he's gone. He's gone for it. He's gone for it. <laughs> free kick. No, no, please. <laughs> no, no, please. Um. <laughs> Getting a lot of ting tings. I really do genuinely believe Sonny Perkins can get a goal here. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I just feel like it's going to happen. I just have it in my mind. I can see it. 
You know what I mean? I can see it in the future. I pre it, I vibe it. But I don't know if it'll happen. <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna. And usually I don't feel that way. If you're a long-term watcher of the watch long, you know that I'm not I'm not super I'm su I'm not super, you know. I'm not super bold like that. You know what I mean? I'm usually fairly reserved. And so I'm just getting this vibe. That's a good ball over the top, by the way. Forces them into a strong, uh, into an awkward position. Vlasic does well to win the ball and then wins the throw in after. He does really well there, Vlasic. It was a big ball hoofed over the top, puts uh, Zagreb into an awkward position. And uh, it ends up working. Vlasic goes toe to toe, 50 50, barges the guy out of the way, wins the ball, and we win a throw in from it. It's fair play. It's good work. Manifest Destiny. Do you know what I mean? Just a vibe it. And we'll get there. You know what I mean? He said, lying. Perkins does well to dribble past one, flicks it, and he's looking towards Yarmolenko. It, it was a bit, it was a bit weak, the ball, but it was good, good direction and good uh, play to be able to get the opportunity in the first place. Ashby with a nice one, two. Dribbles past the number three, picks it in. Header over the top from Perkins. It's a good opportunity. Good opportunity. Provided by Ashby, whipped into Perkins. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cheeky little one-two with Yarmolenko. Skips over the challenge from the number three. Whips in a good ball as well. Uh, Perkins, not the tallest guy in the world. I don't know how good his heading is. Not the tallest guy in the world, but it's a really good ball from Ashby. You tell you what, Andy Carroll's on the end of that. That's a goal. But it's not a bad header either. Just a little bit underneath it. Up and over. Up and over it. Uh, Ashby and Elise looking good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think they are as well. I think it will be, huh? Oh, a little shot of Mick Antonio wearing a cat and a Burberry hoodie. All right, MJF. <laughs> if that's what you're vibing. If that's what you're vibing and that's what you're vibing. Uh, we'll be back later, Charlie. Got to take the winner. Enjoy yourself, bro. See you in a bit. If you're back. If not, enjoy the rest of your, enjoy the rest of your uh, week. We'll see you on Sunday. Uh, Richard, can we can we sign on Andy Carroll after Christmas? He must be going door to door for get. Listen, he scored that banger against uh, for Reading, didn't he? The other week, can't remember. Was it last week? Week four, maybe he scored that banger for Reading. He's doing bits right now. Leave him. Let him be. Let him be. Let him enjoy football. Don't get me wrong. I want him back, but let him enjoy it. Perkins pressurizing the goalkeeper, forced to kick it long. That's kind of what we want. I tell you what, at least he's doing well in the air. He's winning. He's winning a lot of headers. If we can just continuously force them to boot it. And then at least he could be the guy just heading them down. That's not to say Baptiste can't head for it. I'm just saying that at least he's doing well in the air. Um, that'd be beautiful for us. And that's kind of what we want to force them to do. They're more dangerous when they have the ball at the feet. If they're trying to just pump it long and stuff. We feel like we've got that right now. Longello opening up the gas, putting his foot on it a little bit. Plays it inwards to Fournau as well. Jarmelenko's on the overlap. He couldn't quite be found, but Fournau still has the ball. It's a good tackle, to be fair. Right outside Zagreb's area. Now they can counter. This is the sort of opportunity they're going to want. Again, Elise doing well just to sort of stomp that one out, just to stop it. Maybe it was even, it might have even been Longello, to be fair. But just well done, well played. Good defending in the end. Good defending in the end. There, there, was, there was a moment there. There was a moment where it looked like, there was a moment where it looked like he was going to, uh, where they were on, on a good counter attack. Longello had str strode forward. He's, He's apparently more attacking than he is defensive. I don't watch enough under 23 football to really comment on him. He's attack he's apparently more attacking than he is defensive, but he strode out of position forward and he did well to link up the pass into the uh, path of Fornals was actually really good. Um, but an, a beautiful tackle outside the area from Zagreb and, and they had the opportunity to spring a counter attack, but it was it felt a little bit stretched. They couldn't quite get enough on the ball to make it happen. But there was certainly a moment where it looked like it looked like it could have gone well for them, but it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite. Nuno getting hyped. He, Nuno, Nuno wants under 2.5. And what Nuno wants, he doesn't usually get, to be fair. But at the same time, Nuno wants it. Nuno wants it.
Chippy says, uh, can we play the under-23s and leave the season players out as they're embarrassing the kids with their sloppy play? Probably harsh, Chippy. I'm not going to lie, but I see what you're saying, but probably harsh. Probably harsh. West Ham are getting more and more into this game as it goes on. Um, Started to find a bit more space, a bit more joy on the ball, passing it around decently, doing all right. They've had the goal and they started hot. But since then, we've slowly gained more and more ground in this game, slowly gained more and more control. And the youth players, especially Ashby, Longello and Elisi, saying nothing bad about Baptiste, I'm just saying especially those, uh, doing decent, doing decent. They're getting forward well. Um, Longello getting forward well the last couple of five minutes or so. Um, Ashby getting in that good cross. Starting to, starting to look lively, West Ham. Like I say, I said 3-2 because I felt like the attacking output would be better than the defensive one. I'll say that much. Vlasic came in for a handball. Referee waves uh, waves continue. Pablo Fornal was looking for Ashby on the far side. Couldn't quite find him. Yarmolenko tries to battle for the ball. It's wriggled away by Zagreb who can counter-attack again here. This is what I'm saying. It's almost two on two. West Ham have got more players back now. The ball wide to the, uh, I think, the number nine for Zagreb. Doesn't quite work out for them. Play significantly slowed down. It's a good, good switch I play, though, to be fair, by the number nine. Out onto the right-hand side now. Zagreb playing it around, passing it around, trying to find space in between the lines. West Ham's defensive shape looking decent, to be fair. Something that maybe I was a little bit also concerned about, given a, given a, an injection of completely different players in this team. But but if we're being honest, they're looking decent, at least uh, shape-wise. There was a bit of awkwardness in that first goal, but since then, looked decent. And it forces them back into such an awkward way that they give up a throw-in on the halfway line. Fair play. Good play by West Ham there. Good defensive play. The whole of Croatia is in chat. Shout out to Croatia. Do you know what I mean? I ain't got any problems. Like I said, I'm completely okay with fans of opposition teams or any teams, even if you're just a neutral, being in the chat, getting involved in chat. I'm all calm with it, right? If people start to aggravate each other personally, then we stamp down on it. But I don't, I don't mind. Now, other thing to say, I don't understand a word most of them are saying. <laughs> So, full disclosure, I'm not responsible for it because I don't know. But, um, you know, let them enjoy themselves. When we come back and win 3-2, it'll be just as beautiful. Do you know what I mean? Just as beautiful. Uh, do you think the youngsters will run out of pace? Uh, run out of path of pace would be faster? Maybe. You'd hope they would be fitter than, say, Yarmolenko, though. But we'll see. We'll see. They're playing... Uh, Ashby and Yolongello, maybe. They're obviously playing a very intense role. You have to get up and down constantly. So maybe, but we'll see. Ball over the top goes straight back to the Zagreb goalkeeper. who's decided to uh, waste time. I respect it. Uh, maybe Harrison, maybe Ashby and uh, Longello to some extent. They obviously are playing a very difficult role at fullback. You have to get forward and back very consistently. You can't really do anything. Um... You can't really you can't really lay up at any point. You're gonna have to just keep going, going, going. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw one of those subbed off at some point. Um, we do have Kufau on the bench, for example, and Masuaku. Or mistake. Ariola does well. Sweeper keeper. Um, maybe they come on at some point, but we'll see. The centre backs I suspect would last unless there's a Torrey time. Good ball in. Ariola catches it. I would suspect. I would suspect that uh we'll see what happens. West Ham have been better since they conceded. I agree, the boys. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you should just eat Baby Bell after Baby Bell throughout matches. You're not wrong, Jordan. You're not wrong. For now, tries to play into Perkins. Couldn't quite make it there. Uh, and just controlled by the Zagreb goalkeeper. To be honest with you, their goalkeepers are looking to time waste, and I respect that. They're up in the, they're in the lead away from home in the Europa League. Why would you not? I respect it. I think that's fine. But their goalkeeper is looking to time waste. Just let him time waste, in my opinion. Don't stress yourself out trying to pressure to him. Just let him. And an awful piece of distribution to the right uh, to the left back number three goes straight out for West Ham throw. Just let him have his time. That's fine. Do you know what I mean? Just let him have his time. Let him relax. 
Um, if that's what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. West Ham have looked considerably better since the goal. Considerably the better side since the goal. Not being perfect, but considerably better. Perkins trying to push pressurise. And again, Elise, he just does well against the number nine, holds him off. Ball goes all the way through to Ariola, who collects it, lays it out quickly to Longello. That's one of the things I like about Ariola compared to Fabianski. His distribution is better and a lot faster. Vlasic, I tell you what, Vlasic is being doubled up on every time by Zagreb, and he's doing well so far. Uh, wriggling out of tight spaces, uh, keeping possession of the ball under a lot of pressure. Ashby does well. First touch was poor. Second touch, he managed to regain control of it, stops it from going out. West Ham trying to play their way into the box here. Noble tried to flick it to Ashby, can't quite manage it. He's having to charge back now. Again, this is this is the breakaway. This is what they want. Zagreb, Orsic lays it off to the number nine. And just slowed down again. West Ham's defensive work doing really well. I tell you what, Elise is having a really good game today. Um, I keep noticing doing really, really good stuff. He's he's got the number the number nine's number at the moment. It's number nine, strange, surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly but every time they look to get an opportunity they they look like they might have an opportunity to break away that's where they're at the most dangerous against us that's where we will be at this, the most fearful every time that opportunity comes up uh the defense works really hard the defense works really well the midfield gets involved the center backs find themselves in good positions and uh just make it awkward enough for them to just have to slow the play down uh unlike they have here seven finds the ball out wide Longello steps to him by the corner flag, tackles him out for a corner. It's good defending, but it is out for a corner. It is out for a corner. Uh, Gent conceded. Didn't work in uh, chill now. Fair. Is that what they're looking for? That's fair. That is fair. Uh, has our front line rotated tonight or is it it's still Perkins up front Chris um, Perkins up front uh, Vlasic on the left well Vlasic and Fornals are switching a little bit Vlasic and Fornals are switching between the left and the centre and Yarmolenko solidly on the right um, but they tend to be the same <laughs> do, 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 do. Good turn again. Good turn again by Vlasic. Vlasic is having a good game. Taken down there. It's an easy free kick. Beautiful stuff. And a yellow card. Vlasic is doing really well there. Vlasic is doing really well. I tell you what, he's, he's getting doubled up on every single time here. Every time he gets the ball, they're just coming at him. And they're trying to take him out. A little bit of a cheeky reducer there. But he's doing well. Close control. He's keeping the ball in tight situations. He's creating problems without finding direct assists or key passes or goals. But he is creating problems. How do I feel about losing one? No, after beating Chelsea 3. You know, uh, ask me in 60 minutes. <laughs> ask me in 60 minutes. Um... If you ask me which one I'd rather lose in the boys, it would be this one, obviously. But ask me in 60 minutes. Yarmolenko trying to find a little bit of play forward there, drifting in from the right-hand side. Plays it out wide. Noble gets the control. Longello's there, finds him. Got four nails on the overlap. Decides to cut inside. Longello's still with the ball. Finds four nails. On the left-hand side, tries to whip in across. Yarmolenko was there. Perkins was there. Neither can get there. Elise comes out and just grabs it. He's having a storming game, by the way. Ashby has a decent cross. Was looking for Perkins again. Couldn't quite find him. The one, con the one concern, I guess, when with the crosses coming in, um, is that, I, again, I don't know how good Perkins is in the air. Yarmolenko is not the best. He obviously scored a header in the last European game, but I wouldn't sit here and say he's going to be. He's a strong header on the ball or anything. There is certainly a level of... There is certainly a level of being like, okay, we'd rather pull that across the box on the floor. But we'll see. We'll see. Baptiste trying to play the ball over the top, just can't find Yarmolenko. Booted back, straight back towards him. I think it was Baptiste. Could have been Alicia. I couldn't quite tell. 
I looked away and I saw it flying and I saw who passed it, but I didn't see the air. Precise. The precise nature of the delivery. The loca the origin of the delivery played in. Can't quite find him. That cross was all over the shop in Ashby. <laughs> Ashby just barges the uh, Zagreb player out of the way, tries to clear it, misses it. The swing at it completely misses and just, just takes the corner flag out. There was like a moment there where I was like, he's injured. It's fine. It's fine. Ashby looks quite big, doesn't he? But Hench. Good cross header. Ooh. Adami almost with a goal for Zagreb there. It was a good cross. Worked quickly. Uh, the number three finds it, picks it up, takes on Yarmolenko, plays it in, and Adami arriving late at the back post. Oh, he manages to get it over uh, over Elise as well, or over Longello. It was a really good opportunity for this captain, um, but cannot keep it on target. Still, still remains 1 0. Still remains 1 0. Deploy the henchman, yo. He's a, do you know what I mean? He's a big lad, though, isn't he? He's a big lad. I don't know. He's just, he look, he looks stocky. I like that in a fullback. Do you know? What? I like a fullback who looks like he could just take someone out, and he looks like he could do that. Maybe I'm wrong, but he does look. I don't know. I don't. He's, you know. Elisi finds Vlasic. Back to Elisi. Switched up play nicely to Ashby. Control was a little bit off his game, but that's fine. He gets back up after it as Zagreb come away with the ball. Again, they're looking to try and counter-attack, but West Ham just defending well. Defending, they're just defending well. Just defending well. Uh, do I think West Ham will win? Yes. We'll see, though. Pulled back across, hit from Zagreb, over. Um, we'll see. It, we'll see, uh, <laughs> El Pessimo. Um, we'll see. I think so, yes. I backed them before 3-2 for West Ham. Um, not creating enough chances yet to score, but we'll see how the game develops. But I do think there is entirely a possibility of West Ham winning, yes. Cutting to the uh, Zagreb fans. Seventy-seven Zagreb fans in the stadium tonight. I don't know. I, I, I don't pretend to know what's going on with those numbers, but seventy-seven. And I tell you what, you can hear them. To be fair, you can hear them. You you have to res you have to you have to respect that. If nothing else, West Ham can't pass. Highly disagree. Highly disagree. Let me just. Trying to get stats on, just not won't work. Just won't work. Um, if you are looking, remember for a link for tonight's game, then what I would advise you to do is to check the comments below. Check the description below. There's a bit down there called Join Our Discord. Click on that, it's free to join. Lovely Hamas chat, Hubbly West Ham community. Scroll down on the left hand side, there's a bit called Stream Links. If you click on that, you'll find what you're looking for. Um, and shout out to Multiply for making that graphic as per usual. But uh, do have a gander, do have a gander. Zagreb over the last five minutes or so have regained control of the match, regained the momentum, passing the ball around. And again, this is sort of what they want. They want to get their ball on the floor. They don't want to punt it like they were doing when we were in, in control of the game. They want to be, they want to be just passing it around. If they can get control as high up the pitch as possible, then that's the key here. That's the key. If we are in that area, attack with pace, as much pace as you humanly can. But otherwise, you want Zagreb as high up the pitch as humanly possible. You want them controlling the ball, ultimately, ideally, inside West Ham's half. Shot from range on the number seven, easily palmed over from uh, Ariola. You want them as high up the pitch as humanly possible because realistically, that's how you do West Ham, right? We've seen it. 
they're doing it okay here. They're nowhere near as good as Brighton, for example, but they're doing it okay here where they're managing to get in a position and pass it around because what happens is once the opposition step into West Ham's half, West Ham constricts themselves. They compress, they get tight, they stay within themselves. They shell up and try to hold out. They try to hold out. When you're in your own half against West Ham, will press, will make it difficult for you, will harry, will cut down passing lanes, all of that good stuff. But in the moments when you are in West Ham's half, West Ham's defence will tighten up and it will give you basically all of the possession in the world you want. Uh, ball out to the left-hand side. It's number seven tries to bend it in wide. So at that point, that's what Zagreb need to do. If they're not breaking lightningly on the counter-attack, which is what they need to do, you can't take your time. You need to just go, go, go. And to be fair, we've done really well defending counter-attacks tonight. Um, you want to be in and around the half. And that's what Zagreb have done over the last five minutes or so. They've retaken control of the match, started to make it difficult again, um, started to get more and more possession. Uh, and that's what they've done. They've 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 taken it into a half and we're we're allowing them it. Like we always do. Again, they're not doing it anywhere near as well as say um not doing it anywhere near as say Brighton. Nowhere even close, but they're doing it well. They're doing it well. Ariola wanna roll with the geezer. Shot with Adida, right in the beamer. <laughs> Crowell has looked like quite a world-assured palm tree in midfield. He needs to link it up a bit better to turn defence into attack, but not bad at the moment. I agree with everything you said, especially talking about his hair, which for me is a very important factor in Alex Crowell as a player. Perkins does well there, by the way, to keep that in and keep possession of the ball. Plays it back to Nobles, looking to try and switch it up across to Longello. Vlasic comes short to collect it first, starts stepping towards Zagreb. Longello's there. Vlasic on the underlap. Longello cuts inside, trying to work it down the left-hand side. That's a nice ball into the path of Yarmolenko, who's, who's sort of drifting a little bit here, plays it into a really dangerous area. No West Ham players were quite there, ready to attack it, but it was a good, good ball. Quick throw in by Ashby. Wasn't great, but... It happened quickly, and that's all we need because usually our thrones are god awful. Back to Ashby, looking to try and whip in a dangerous. Oh, Harrison Ashby with a cheeky Masuaku uh, went for a cross. It ends up being so deep that it, it made it made the uh, made the Zagreb goalkeeper made his bum twitch a little bit, but it ends up going over for a goal kick. Good idea from Ashby trying to trying to quick early cross. Yarmolenko is playing an interesting position tonight. He's sort of been given a little bit of a free roll. Um, whereas Fornals and Vlasic are very much switching around the left and central attacking midfield positions. Um, Jan Malenko sort of just roaming here, there and everywhere. Perkins is tending to stay central uh, and the most advanced player making him the striker. But but Jan Malenko is finding spaces here, there and everywhere. But a lot like Ronaldinho in his prime. Just give him the free roll. Just go where you want, mate. Do do as you please. Uh, and it's working. Almost think the man, bro, you almost think the man, you didn't even see that with a little, little chip, the little flop. Do you know what I mean? The little wedge, the little, little, do you know what I mean? Little chip with the flop with the, you know what I mean? It's close. It's close. June's not bad. I agree. They are not, they are not bad at all. They're doing decently with him. They're doing decently. Whereas Danny on the opposite scale, if this is West Ham's future, I'd be wary, wary. They're all crap. Danny, harsh. Harsh. And to be honest, I disagree. I think we're playing well. Punted long, looking for Yarmolenko. Perkins arriving late, trying to back the beef. Perkins and Yarmolenko, uh, just sort of about here. Yeah, oh, four hours as well there to get involved. Wins the ball back under good pressure. Yarmolenko stepping up to the Dynamo defence. They're not going to like He cuts in, out, couldn't quite find the shot. He couldn't shake it all about. No ball. Tries to find a crossing, can't quite find it. For now, puts it onto his strong foot. He wants to play it in. He just wanders into the area instead. Here's some of his weak foot. <gasps> there was a moment. There was a moment where I thought that one was going in. The angle looked like it was, but it's a good block by uh, the Zagreb defender. And it's a corner for West Ham. Good opportunity. Not enough big boys in this team, as usual. We don't really have our, our usual large contingent of men. To, to dominate from the corner. So uh, maybe not as much hopeful as winning from set pieces as we usually are. Um, again, that's one of the problems with our continuing obsession with just crossing the ball into the likes of Perkins. But still, corner, no ball. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Uh, allow me to reenact that. Allow me to reenact. Corner now, no ball. 
bad. Bad. It was not good. Not good from Mark Noble. <laughs> Love him. But uh, there we go, Chip. Yeah, shows the kids how not to take a corner. Just showing a good example there to just be like, look, that's not how you do it, guys. Make sure you don't do it like that in future. That is my Mark Noble impression. You're welcome. And I'm sorry to Rebecca, but, you know, it is what it is. He does well to dispossess Zagreb there. Almost falls over while he does it, but does well. Finds Kral in a decent position. Dinks it forward to try and find Perkins, who's... Just a little bit stretched for the touch. Couldn't quite get there. But West Ham regained possession from a, an awkward lofted pass from Zagreb. Just fitting in a quick training session. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little, just a little cheeky, quick ones. You know what I mean? Just be like, you know, here's how not to do it, guys. What you don't want to do is hit the first man with what was ultimately so bad it almost looked like he missed hit it. You know that kind of vibe. Um, it was what it was, mate. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? My girlfriend just came and offered baby, bro. I got two. I got. I got a little. I got a little baby bubble set. Yeah, I know. I'm not super happy about it either, but there we go. Um, so, Thierry on reads are joined. And he says, up the hammers. Thank you, Thierry. Appreciate it. My G. My liege. Thank you. For now, I can't quite find the space to whip the ball in. Does find Harrison Ashby. Oh, he jigs past. Does well there. I was going to say, if that's not a foul, I don't know what is. He's yanked down by the Zagreb number five. Uh, Mambo, no, sorry, number seven. I was going to say Mambo number five after that. Um, does well. I'll tell you what, he does really well there for now to just jink inside and there's it's 100% a foul. The, he goes for the classic as if to say, I, I didn't foul him. Bro, you you grabbed him, you pulled him down and then, oh. You know? He is such a baller, isn't he? He's just a, he's just a good dude. She might be the new lucky charm. She rolls in. Lobs the baby bell in. Lobs the baby bell in. Just dangerous throws at all times. Baby bells on the trees? Maybe. Maybe. It's an option. I don't have enough of them, but it is an option. Or make a baby bell. I think calendar. Ooh, that's a better option. A fake one. A fake one. Yamlenko to take to take the free kick. Dangerous area, not Ruben's shooting distance, but a dangerous area for a cross, maybe. He goes for the shot anyway, straight at Livakovic. Um Shame. I wouldn't have gone for that. I would have gone for a cross, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Halftime whistle is coming up. We're on the verge. What are we at? 50, 45? We're at 45 now. Let's see how much time we've got for added time. I haven't heard the commentator said anything. Might not be none to be fair. There's not really be any chats. There has half time whistle goes. It's disappointingly to some extent West Ham United nil, Zagreb one. Um, you'd argue potentially the better side. You'd argue potentially the better side after Zagreb's goal. Um, however, certainly before that, it was all Zagreb. Um, you could make a make an argument that the last five minutes, ten minutes or so. Most of these are grab as well, but it is what it is. Um, meme kid, I'm trying to find for some reason who scored is not working right now. So I'm trying to figure out some sort of stats thing now. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens as uh, my TV, as it were, definitely breaks. Right. Let's have a gander. Let's try and find someone else. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Um, I cannot show you the second half of that. Uh, how are we feeling though? Let me know. Uh, Fornas with some great skills and dribbling. I agree too. Cool. Um, I'm enjoying watching Vlasic. He looks sharp. He does. He's doing well to maintain possession of the ball as well. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on him. Uh, he's being doubled up on every time. And he's doing well to keep possession of the ball, I feel. Uh, West Ham played all right. It was only the wonder goal that made the difference, but very positive from the academy players. I agree. I think they've been a bright spot, to be fair. Um, at least he specifically, I think, has been absolutely brilliant tonight so far. Um, uh, most of them look so uh, look too selfish. Uh, are you talking about the academy players? Are you talking about the senior players? What are we saying, Harry? What are we saying? 
Uh, let's have a little scroll down. Uh, <laughs> we need to catch trim. I don't know, man. I need to shave. Shaving was going to happen like every day this week. But I'm just lazy, Jay. <laughs> I can't lie to you, bro. I'm just lazy. The hair, that I don't know. That I don't know. Soon, necessarily, because we're getting to that stage. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, Mr. Omri is saying that West Ham should go all in for the Europa League. I would love to see it. Mr. Henry, I would hope so. Confident, uh, weirdly calm because it's a meaningless game. That's probably fair. Um, one, Noble should never take a corner again. Two, Young Malone should never play a game again. I think that's probably a bit harsh, but I understand what you're saying. Um, let's talk to someone who actually knows what they're talking about, though, and that's Gio Mackey. Uh, Gio, thoughts? Um, uh, it's all right, isn't it, Charlie? It's not ideal, but... <sighs> Don't need to win, do we? So... Uh, I'm. I think Elise has been utterly brilliant. I've. I've. I've thought he was so. I thought every time they were when we were wishing them and they were they were playing these lofted through balls, uh, trying to look for their number nine or whatever. He was just towering over him, beating him every single time in the air. He's looked composed on the ball. I just. I don't. I think he's like we've we've just been talking in the chat and how. The youth players, I think, are somewhat of a bright spark. I think they've defend. I think the youth defenders have been pretty good. I think Longello's got forward okay. I think Ashby's got forward well. Um, but yeah, Lisi, man, I think I thought he's been. I thought he's been yeah. right good, me. Yeah, I do like Lisi though. He's the one I've always had high hopes for, kind of thing. Mm. Um, I remember a few years ago we did an article for another website, Charlie. We went to vote for it was like thirty under twenty three players or something. Uh, yes, put them in order. Yes. I yeah. did Alise number one. Uh, actually, number two, sorry. Deck Comise was number one. Alise was number mm. two. Um, and I'm happy for him. I, I, I think it's been a, quite an easy enough game for Baptiste and Alise, to be fair, because I think their danger is on Ashby's side rather than in front of the centre backs. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's relatively fair. I think that's relatively fair. I just, I just, he just, he... Ashby as well, the other takeaway. Because I don't watch enough, enough under twenty three football to really notice. He said, "Big, big inch little boy, any." Oh, I feel like if you was beef and he's standing behind you, people they would not step to you. Do you know what I mean? Big, big, yeah. big, big geezer for a young lad. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he, he's looked okay. Had some nice touches. Had a couple of lapses as well. If you like, there's been a couple of yeah. bits where it's just not quite been good enough. But. He, it's it's expected, you know. These boys are going to be nervous, you know. They've gone from playing in training grounds in front of fifty people to fifty thousand people there tonight. You know, it's mm. a big step up for them. Europa League, there's going to be a bit of nerves, and you you can excuse them for that. I think the young lads, like you said, they are the bright bright spark of the game. It's what everybody's looking forward to seeing, kind of thing. And um, I think we're all enjoying it. There's no pressure on them. That's the most important thing for them tonight. There is no pressure, and mm. They're doing all right. They're holding their own. And I think he had that one really good cross, the one towards Perkins. Um, yeah. That was just like, oh, okay, okay. Even if he did have another one, which was a shot on the after. But anyway, yeah. I leave you in the I'll also warn you, Thierry on Rees in the chat. Don't oh. get surprised when Thierry... Premier League big boy Thierry on Rees. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to be back bam, 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 boom. <laughs> 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 right then, how are you all doing in the nice chat? I, I thought we did all right in the first half. It's 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 hard to judge, isn't it? It's hard to judge because we don't need a win. I think you can tell that, to be fair. There's actually two players who've disappointed me, actually, in the first half. There's two players who've disappointed me. The first one I thought was um, Jan Malenko a little bit, but more just because... This is a game where when you're on the fringes of the team that Yarmolenko is, you know, Pablo Fanales tonight doesn't have to play well for West Ham. Fanales is in there, but he doesn't need to perform because he's in Moyes' plan. We know what he can do. He's a big part of what David Moyes is about. He's got his place at West Ham secure. He's got nothing to prove to David Moyes. Yarmolenko does a little bit. You know, Yar David Moyes literally has spoken in the build-up to this game, in the press conference, David Moyes has spoken about how we need a goal scorer, how we need somebody else. And he's basically he's talking about the transfer, the transfer window, of course. But for Jan Malenko and Vlasic, you should be listening to this thinking, all right, I can be that guy. I'm going to show you. And I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed by Jan Malenko. I'm also 
I'm also a little bit disappointed by Mark Noble, if I'm honest with you. I don't think he's having a particularly great game. I thought, by the way, can we stop Mark Noble taking corners? I know Bowen, well, Fernandes is on the pitch. He should be taking him. I know Bowen and Creswell aren't, but I'll just stop him taking them. We must have a better corner p- taker on the pitch than Mark Noble, other than um, Fernandes. Fernandes ain't allowed to take him. Let someone else. But I just think, I actually think, Mark, I actually think, um, Mark Noble's not having a great game to, to tonight, to be honest with you. He's below average for, for Mark Noble. So they're the two games players that have been poor me. I think Kral looks all right. I think Kral looks good, putting himself about. He's neat and tidy in possession. He's trying to get a little bit too creative. He's tried a couple of balls over the top that not quite come off. I think Vlasic has had some nice touches. I think I um, could do a little bit more, maybe. I think... Um, Games like this, you want him to stand out, be head and shoulders above the rest of the players in the team and grab the game by the scuff of the neck. I think he's trying to some extent. Um, I would give him the 90 minutes, though. I would give Vlasic the 90 minutes. My priority tonight would be to get the youngsters as much minutes as possible, but Kral and Vlasic, try and give them the whole game, have a look at them. But I can imagine... I can imagine that Moyes is going to be a bit reluctant, especially with Vlasic, to give him the full game, just with injuries. And it's a bit of a pointless game to some extent tonight in regards to results. So get him off the pitch with half an hour to go and keep him for Sunday because we we'll probably do need him at some point on Sunday afternoon. But more youngsters on the bench, we could see them on. I still want to see... I still want to see David Martin come on the pitch tonight. I want to see David Martin get subbed on. Um Dabs is asking who everybody's best player is. So everybody in the um, live chat and put in who you think um, has been our best player so far. I, I, it's hard to say really. I think in possession, I think probably, I think Vlasic has possibly been our best player. I think he's done some nice touches, to be honest with you. I think he's looked like he's got that technical ability about him. He's looking quite good and neat and tidy. Um, out of possession, like Charlie was saying, I think Alise reads the, the game really well. He's quite um, progressive as a centre-back. When he gets the ball, he wants to take a couple of strides forward automatically. He tries to push up a little bit. I like that about him. At one point, Mark Noble had the ball. And Alise was shouting at him where to pass it. And I thought, bloody hell, there's a guy that's got a bit of bollocks about him. I know he's the captain for the under 23 for some tells me. I'm aware of that. But to tell the club captain what to do with it, um, it's good to see, though, someone coming in. Alise is coming in, you know, it was a big occasion for him. And he's still standing there, saying to Martin, oh, put the ball over there, pass to him kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think I think he's done quite well. Let's have a little look at what everybody's saying, though. Most people are saying Ashby. Uh, most people are saying that Ashby's impressed them the most. Um, Sukul's the same for now. Ibas is saying Kral. Um, Born to Get is saying, saying Perkins. Um, I disagree with that to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not gonna. And, and Lucas is saying Perkins was t- directing Yarmolenko. It's good to see the young lads coming into the team and then not being afraid to show their personality a little bit, you know, just being confident enough to put their just to stick the chest out. Contact light saying Longello, but then straight under it, someone saying why isn't why isn't everyone saying Longello? But just two above it said uh, Longello. I think Longello's looked okay. I think the problem for Lange- Longello is they're not really coming down his side. Zagreb aren't really coming down their right hand side. So it's quite difficult for him to get involved. I feel I don't think we've seen enough of him yet. I think he's looked all right. But I think most of the sides coming down, and most of the actions coming down Harrison Ashby's side with Pe- with um, Orsic over there played on the left it seems to be quite one-sided Zagreb a little bit so I think he's been tested a little bit more what I will say in defense of Jan Malenko though what I will say uh, quite early on Harrison Aspie went bombing forward just went powering forward it didn't work out kind of thing but immediately Jan Malenko bust an ass to get back into the right back position so Harrison Aspie could essentially jog back because you know, he's out of breath, Ashby. He's just ran 40 yards. He's going to be, I mean, <gasps> turn and run back 50 yards because that was like a move the pitch. It's, it's a big ass. But Jan Malenko filled in. And he didn't touch the ball, Jan Malenko. The ball was down the other side of the pitch. But I just thought it was good to see. You need the experienced players to step up tonight, look after the youngsters. And while I'll take the piss out of Jan Malenko a little bit with what he's done or not done with the ball tonight, I have to say I thought he's actually looked after Harrison Ashby quite well. Um, just like Martin Noble is probably looking after the, the kids at centre-back quite well, talking to them through the game as well. We'll never know 
the people at the game will probably be able to see more than what myself and Charlie can this evening watching on the telly. Uh, plastics, but the people at the game will be able to see more of what the experienced players are doing to help the youngsters through. Because you do need them on the cages like this. You do need to just coach them through a little bit. And um, I thought Jan Malenko did quite well. Uh, Fraud said, Baptiste is very quick. And this is something we need quite refreshing to see a good passer and someone who's good on the ball with Alise. That's that's the thing I've been impressed by with them too. They pass to each other quite confidently as well. There was at one point Baptiste like, he whizzed it into Alise's feet really. And Alise was just like, yeah, no problem. Just moved it and took his first touch a couple of yards away from him and just strolled away with the ball. It was quite nice to watch actually. Um Liam saying that Ashby and Vlasic, Vlasic is growing into the player Moyes once. Can't believe he was written off by some fans after one game. Um, Jeff says, I really look sharp. Can't blame him for the goal. No, you can't. It was a ridiculous goal, to be honest with you. Um, that occasion you mentioned, Gio was once in 45 minutes the rest of the half. He was missing at the back. This is about Jan Malenko. Um, to be fair, I don't think we've been caught out, though. I don't think we've been caught out then that side. The only one time I do remember getting caught out then there was when Mark Noble gave the ball away. He just chipped it in players' chest. Then they broke. And Mark Noble, instead of running after the Zagreb players, ran after the referee to try and get a free kick from about 30 seconds ago. As if the referee was going to go, oh, you know what? Stop the game. We're going all the way back, 50 yards up the pitch, because Mark Noble came running up to me to point out that the player handballed it. He's correct. I'm wrong. Forget the last 30 seconds of game. Let's move it all back. Um, anyway, let's see what everyone else is saying. Wizard is saying... Hadrick Kantaza Nakabenji. Do you agree with Wizard? No. I think he makes a good point. I think he's wrong. And I think I I I think do you know what? There's been a lot of there's been a lot of fans from uh from the area having a big old argument tonight in the chat about uh Hadrick versus uh Zagreb and who is the better yeah. team. Big old a, big old arguments in chat about that. So I'm going to come out strongly earlier. and say I don't know what you're saying. It's I don't I don't know. I don't speak the language. I got no clue. I, man. I did a video earlier and, and so I'm going to have to comment to say that 80 percent of Croatia are rooting for West Ham this evening. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice to know that we're mean, that massive. Does that mean 20 percent of Croatia support Zagreb? That's a big percentage. That's a big percentage. If you said 20 percent of people supported like Man United or whatever, that would be a huge percentage. Do they? Nah, I would say no. Nah, 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 nah. Big, nah. big amount, but not, nah, 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 not that much. Not, not, not that many, anyway. Nah. Um, it's why I says that Ashby shown great pace, especially from tracking back. He could be some nah. uh, player. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah, think he's been really good. I think he's getting really. Uh, I, 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 I do, t Mr. Henri, I do. It was very good. There you go. There you go. That might have been him. I don't think it was him, but someone else is quoting the exact same ratio. So maybe he's statistically correct that 20% of Croatia sports that grab. I'd be, I'd be interested something to see new the numbers. Tonight. I'd be interested to see the numbers. We should, we should deep dive. Maybe Wikipedia says it. I don't know. Murphy's saying yes, but 20% of people in Zagreb. Fair enough. Is there only one club? Well, there you go. Is there only one, is there, is there only one team in Zagreb? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Well, there must I wanna, be. I want to know who the I want to know who the Zagreb version of Brentford are. That's who I support. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, Perkins is not holding up the ball. Ben Rama is on, or I don't know. Oh, he is on. Someone's saying Ben Rama's on. on. I assume it's for Perkins. I have to say, I'll say it here because I'm not gonna do it in the review very much because. When I'm doing the review tonight and the player ratings tomorrow, right, I'm not going to criticise youngsters. It's just not right, is it? What I will say, I was a little bit disappointed in Perkins. There was a couple of times you gave the ball away and I was thinking, come on. I mean, you've got to remember, he's only 17 because at least he's different. At least he's 21. And Baptiste is yeah. 18. There's a big age difference between them two. Perkins is only 17 as well. Um, but there was one or two times where I just thought, ah, you know, his header as well. I just thought, ah, just do a little bit better, a little bit better, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, mm. but it's not his fault, it's just one of those things where I just thought, oh, big opportunity for you. And you have to get as a youngster to impress, yeah. especially with a manager like David Moyes, to impress him, you've got to do everything mm. right, you've got to have a perfect game. You do one thing wrong, Moyes will almost focus on the one thing you've done wrong rather than the yeah. four things you've done right. And I think that's the right thing to do, especially when you're young. 
Um, it's all, yeah. it's a bit different from Fernandes kind of thing. He's proven himself as a youngster. You've not proven yourself yet. You've got to mold the player into the player you want, kind of thing. Um, and I just think with Ash, and I think I think the back four are all having better games than Perkins in a weird way. Do you know what I mean? I, I think agree with that. Yeah. And impressing more. I think at least he's impressing more. I think Baptiste and Ashby are impressing more. I think Moyes would be more impressed with them four than he is of Perkins, and that's. Not against Perkins, it's just mm. Mm. anyway. I think that people are saying that it looks like Finals has gone off for yeah, Victor, Victor's right, he is running his trade, they all are. Um, yeah, but um, I would suggest joking you that get David Martin's there. coming on. Everyone's, everyone's joking about Martin coming on for Noble. I mean, he's not. I can Robin. see Mark Noble's about to do the kickoff, I can see it on my screen, right? Well, I'm away to watch the game. Um, thank you very much, Walsh. Enjoy yourself. I see you at full time, Geo. Oh, hi. There you go. It was Geo Mackie, everyone. Family knows what he's talking about. Um, wasn't that a fun time for us all? Make sure to check us him out. Check us. Check him out at full time. Of course, that's where we'll be live till just after full time whistle. Him and Gonzo will be going live on this very channel. I will spam the link in the chat so you can go and listen to uh, someone they know, someone who knows what they're talking about, talk about the game as opposed to me. But go have a gander. Uh, go have a gander. Uh, here we go. Here's a fun one. Steve Tilly. Is Charlie actually a West Ham fan? He hardly celebrates when you score. Did you see his reaction to Arthur's goal on Saturday? Didn't even jump up. Ah! You happy, Steve? There you go. There you go. My God. People, are you a fan? You didn't do a jump. Getting very heavy on the pitch, isn't it? Getting very heavy on the pitch, isn't it? <laughs> There was a popped collar. That's how you know it's getting serious, Lucas. That's how you know it's getting serious when the popped collar happens. Uh, that's how you know it gets serious. Let me try and turn this off slightly. There we go. There we go. Right. We're back. The timer is in check. Remember, everyone, um, if you don't know already, you're looking for a way to watch the match, there are ways to do it. I would suggest you look down in the, in the, in the uh, description below. There's a bit on there that says join our Discord. Have a little click on that. It's a completely free to join. Lovely West Ham Hammers Chat community. And if you scroll down on the left-hand side, you see a little cheeky thing called Stream Links. Don't have what you're looking for. Definitely go and have a gander. Remember, we'll be live until full time. Um, we'll be live until full time. So make sure to stick around. And I'm live every single match day doing watch-alongs. Unless work gets in the way and says I have to work that day. And so far, they haven't this season. I've only done that once since we started doing these. Um, oh, it's a good play by Saeed Ben Rama, jinking his way through. Nice try to little pass through to Longello. It doesn't quite work. West Ham win a, a throw in, but it was it was well done. Adiemi he's down on the floor. He's very much asking for something from the ref. Ben Rama's just very good, isn't he? Um, but yeah, make sure to come back. I would love to have you back here. Even even uh, the uh, Croatian fans come back again. We'd love to have you. Uh, what's your favorite Teddy Tubby? Can I say Nunu? He was the Uber, innit? Can I go Nunu? If not, I quite like Poe. I like Poe. I like the end of the song. Take me, Dipsy, Lala, Poe, Poe. I quite like that energy. Um, how many Golden Premier League titles does West Ham have? Uh, Mr. Omri, you'd have to check the Wikipedia page, my friend. You'd have to check the Wikipedia page. My gut says none. But you'd have to check the Wikipedia page. I saw someone, by the way, talking about Chris Jericho. Of course, Judas, uh, of course, um, they're on tour in the UK at the moment. His, uh, his legendary post from Newcastle. Gone for a lovely walk around beautiful Newcastle and all three of the pictures he posted on Instagram are from 10 meters apart. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, was he at the London same tonight? I don't know. It'd be a vibe. Judas in, Judas in my mind. I become, I become, I become me. I'm become, I'm become, I'm becoming Judas in, Judas in my mind. Big half coming up. I strongly agree. Strongly agree. Who else would you bring off the bench? Potts. Interesting question. Um, looking at bench there, ignore the fact I've misspelled Kufal. Dab, dab, dab. I would probably say, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Again, I want to win this game. I know this game ultimately doesn't really mean anything to us. We're already top to the group regardless of what happens. So honest, obviously, as to some extent, this game makes nothing. So I'm like, let's just bring as many of the youth players on as possible. And I do agree with that. And I do want to see as many of you as possible. But ultimately, I still want to win this game. I want to win every time we go out onto the pitch. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, I never want to be. I never want to. I never want. There's no. There's no games I ever want to lose, regardless of whether they don't mean anything or not. So whatever would be strongest, whatever would be the strongest person to bring on. You're saying Lanzini maybe, but I don't think we really need it if we're being honest right now. Um, you could maybe make an argument for Maswaku in a, in a more forward position potentially. Um, Potts. I don't really know much about Potts. I know Forson and. I know Forston's a centre midfielder. I know um, Swoyer, I think, is a wide midfielder. Again, I did do the graphic for Potts uh, for that video, and I've completely forgotten what it is. But I'd be interested. I'd be interested to see it anyway. I think Scott loves a good tinky winky. I mean, I mean, you know. Uh, Charlie, if West Ham will score, who do you think will score? At this point, Ben Rama. But I would love to see Perkins get a goal. But I think Ben Rama. Let's see Forson. Yeah, I'd be up for that. I'd be up for that. I'd be up for that. Please buy Niketia in Jan. Uh, maybe. I wouldn't be against If the price was right, Henri, uh, I wouldn't be against it. Um, look at that. You can tell my arm's resting on a mug, can't you? <laughs> um, if the price was right, I wouldn't be against it, but the price would have to be right. Good free kick, a uh, good opportunity, good area for a free kick for West Ham United. Just on the right hand touchline, whipped in by Yarmolenko, couldn't quite get the touch. Noble dinks it back across to Yarmolenko, does well. Tries to dink his way through, wins a corner, wins a corner. He has, he's got Noble's got the collars, the collars popped. My name is Nick Crompton, and my collar stay popping. Yes. Big. Good control by Yarmolenko. He tried to just lay it off towards Crow. Blocked by the uh, blocked by the Zagreb defender. Corner. Put in by Ben Rama. Not any, not much better than Nobles, if we're being honest. But still, West Ham retained possession of the ball, at least, from the clearance from the not very good corner. Nice passing by Ben Rama and Crow linking up. Ben Rama tried to strive forward. It's a good tackle. By uh, Zagreb number three, and now they pop the counter attack. But Noble, I was gonna, you could say intercepts it. I would say the ball was passed to him, <laughs> but it's fine. At least he to crown links it over to Harrison Ashby nicely. It's a moment there where Vlasic was flying through, wasn't found. Noble tries to loft it in towards Perkins, gets his chest on it. He, he goes down, but Yarmolenko, no, so I think it was Vlasic actually trying to pop off a shot, can't quite do it. Uh, can't quite do it. And West Ham, have a, it clears away for West Ham throwing all the way back in our own half. Taken quickly by Alisi. I say this about West Ham's youth players, one of the things I've noticed. Significantly better at throw-ins. West Ham's senior team are so bad at throw-ins, it's actually insane. It's actually completely and utterly insane how bad West Ham's senior team are at throw-ins. Ball through to Yamalenko was a bit heavy. You can't stop it. And it goes out for a goal kick to Zagreb. Honestly, they're awful the vast majority of the time. And so um, we just, they seem to step up and take it quickly, do the youth players. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. The rain's getting heavy enough to where Moise has got his big old hood up. He looks like a blue burk. Ketu is a great young prospect. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but he needs the right team. And again, it would be for the right price. Um... I think he would benefit going somewhere where he would start automatically. And if Mikel Antonio is fit, fact is he's not starting. Um, and I have reservations over whether Niketia is good enough to lead a line by himself, which is essentially what we need a striker to be able to do, to have the strength and the pace, uh, as well as, you know, general football and ability to be able to lead a line by himself. Um, that's partly what we're seeing a little bit of Perkins tonight, although he's got enough, he's got enough backing tonight. But yeah, that's that's sort of what, that's sort of what we need, and I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, expect better from the likes of Noble, Yama, and Vlasic. I disagree with most people on this. I think Yarmolenko and Noble have been fine, and I think Vlasic has actually been pretty good, to be fair. That's my opinion, but I understand what you're saying. I do think we need we need them to lead, but again, when you have so many youth players on, it's quite difficult. But I, I, do, I don't necessarily disagree with the sentiment, at least. Um, again, how long do you give Vlasic? I think Vlasic has been one of the better players on the pitch. I think if we had someone different up front, if we had like Yarmolenko, uh, if we had Mikhail Antonio up front, and this, this isn't a diss to Perkins, but if we had someone that the, the I don't I don't think Zagreb's defense are concerned about Perkins at all. Um, 
not because he's playing so poorly. I disagree with Gio. I'm not too concerned about him in that first half. I wasn't too disappointed, but he's not really giving them much to think about. They aren't concerned about him. They're not changing him. They're not doubling up on him. They are doubling up on Vlasic and stuff like that. If there was a if there was a moment where he was 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 attracting attention away, it's a good opportunity for Zagreb. Just puts onto his right foot. Can't hit it. It's fine. If there was an opportunity where that happened, maybe we'd see a bit better from uh, someone like Vlasic, for example. But we'll see how the game plays out. Again, it, I think it's time. It's time on anything. Favorite childhood TV show, i.e., Teddy Tubby's Thomas the Tank Engine. I mean, look, Thomas the Tank Engine, Fireman Sam, and Postman Pat, all legends of the game, if we're being honest. You know, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, Unreal theme song, uh, Postman Pat, Unreal theme song, early in the morning, uh, Unreal theme song, Fireman Sam, good stuff. Um, Arthur, every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. It's a, it's a mantra I've taken into my later life. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. I did that because I'm hoping that you lot went, hey. Do you know what I mean? Corner in from Zagreb, plays it in, up over the top, hit. I think from Teofil Catherine, can't quite keep it down. Can the former Cardiff City man. Also played for Marseille, I believe, maybe. But yeah, I'd probably go Arthur. Arthur was the boy. If we're talking, if we're talking early, er, slightly earlier, then defo Thomas the Tank Engine. I had a big old Thomas the Tank Engine obsession. There's a lot of pictures of me as a baby and a young child through into young, just being a child with Thomas the Tank Engine VHSs being like, um, but yeah, off, off, then slightly after that, Arthur was the one for me. Arthur was the one for me. There we go. What a wonderful kind of day where we can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You've got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm on the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Believe in yourself. That's the place to start. What if the boy? Also, the first episode taught me how to spell Ardvark. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. Anyway. Um... <laughs> anyway. Oh, yes. Postman Pat is actually a baller. Good replacement for Bowen when he goes to Liverpool. Game in. Game. Oh, Bram. Scott. Come on, Scott. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Get Bram in there. I had a banging tweet that no one ever saw because no one follows me on Twitter, and that's totally okay. A top lad. But uh, it's totally okay. Where I was talking about Elon Musk inventing Brass. Bram. What a boy Bram was. Out here solving issues despite the fact he's a small child-sized car that can't talk but is somehow sentient love that love that boy love that boy <laughs> zagreb playing the ball around at the back trying to find space yamalain and perkins at times sort of change positions but by and large um oh it's a good opportunity for zagreb hit save by Ariola does well out to the number 13 on the right whips it back in headed away by ashby Perkins tried to get there, can't quite do it. Nice jinking passes by Zagreb. He tried to play the ball across, and it's cleared away well by Baptiste for a corner. I was I was about to say when they broke the the change in positions between um, the change in positions between Yarmolenko and Perkins when they flip. Sometimes they flip. It. I think it serves. I think it does a disservice to Ashby, who if there was a more rigid system in terms of those two you would know who was always going to track back to cover but there for example they flipped and it ended up being a little bit all over the shop and there was no one to cover him now he didn't end up needing it in the end i guess but you could have made the uh, you could have made the argument that this whole process could have been cut out and played in punched away by ariel i was concerned for a second there back out front of a corner you could have made the the argument that that could have been stopped in the build-up if that was there i don't know I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of big children's TV talk, and I want to get fully involved in a second. But Zagreb with another corner in quick succession, whips it in again to the exact same sort of position. Harrison Aspie heads it away. Ben Rama tries to attack it, can't quite get there. And it's goal kick. Goal kick, a potentially offside from the number 55 from Zagreb there, decides not to attack it. Uh, what are we saying? What are we saying? Uh, Rosie and Jim. I read the books more than I watched the show, but yeah, Rosie and Jim was a big thing. It was a big thing. Um... <laughs> the name doesn't help. The top lad sounds too confident. You want to call yourself a poor song? Go for pity. GP, that was an outrageously strong shout. I can't lie to you. That was an outrageously strong shout. 
Oh, bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in the pajamas in pajamas are something everywhere. I can't remember the rest of it, but yes, they were. And they come down the stairs and they would walk like like that. Oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> Oh, what a camera shot that was. It literally meant nothing to anyone, but there we go. There we go. I should say it's obviously ironic, but, you know, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> ben Rama trying to find a Ben, ben Rama in pyjama. He's coming to Zagreb. Oh, hey, there's something there. Um, <laughs> playing the ball around. West Ham trying to find space, trying to find space in between the lines. Got a lot of people just sat in Zagreb's half now, they're just full every man behind the ball trying to defend. Um, they've got decent enough positions. Yarmolenko does really well to find Noble there. He tries to just put the cross in, but Perkins doesn't commit to an attack. If he committed to that, maybe you could... An opportunity on the backside. But again, it was a, it was a decent idea, to be fair. It was an outrageous attempt by Noble to cross it in the outside of the boot. And again, another thing Yarmolenko does well that I don't think people will give respect to, but still crossed in. Yarmolenko tries to attack it. Can't quite get there. <sighs> Vlasic... <laughs> Looking for Ben Rama, can't quite manage it. He gets the control in half in the area anyway. He's got Longello asking for it, screaming for it. Finds it maybe a bit late. Takes a touch, pings the cross. cross. Doesn't quite happen. Doesn't quite happen. Rhubarb and Custard. I never watched Rhubarb and Custard. It was too early for me. But the song, my dad had the, had the theme song on vinyl and I used to play it all the time. Is that the one that had Charlie say it's baby? Is that Lou Robin Custard as well? Do you know what I mean? Sorry. I'm, 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 we're, in, we're, in, we're, in, we're, we're truly in Charlie Walsh territory right now. Um, it's good. It's good, Thierry. It's very good. I back it. Uh, if it's not Tom and Jerry West Ham, <laughs> hey, Tom and Jerry bangs as well. To be fair, there was a Tom and Jerry play, uh, PlayStation Two game that banged. Battle of the War of the Whiskers, maybe I think it was called. It was like a fighting game. It banged. It's a banger. Basil Brush coming through with the boom boom. Yes, remember to leave a like. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Coming through with the boom boom. Leave a like for Kids TV Talk during a West Ham versus Zagreb watch along. Let's go. Uh, 50 quid. I'm sorry, Danny. I'm genuinely sorry. I'm genuinely sorry, bro. Mr. Blobby, one of the most terrifying individuals in British television history. Chaos incarnate, Mr. Blobby. Tell you what, you get Blobby up front. He cause an havoc. Here's a question for the chat. What Children's TV character would be most effective as a footballer. Mr. Blobby as a striker sends fear into the defenders. Do you know what I mean? Did the UK ever get magic school bus? I don't think we did. Oh, I don't remember it. Ben Rama cross blocked. Hey, hey, are you ready to play? Come and come and play with the tweenies. Dad. I remember the first episode of that airing. I don't know why. I just remember it happening. I remember it being a big thing. Ben Rama hits it. Ooh, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Receives it from a quick corner. Tries to find a little bit of space. Wiggles it out. Gets a shot away, but nothing, nothing special. Looking for a double sub now, Zagreb. To try and do something. Let's have a look. Let's scroll down. What are we saying? <laughs> Teddy Tubby's at the back four. Yes. Uh, oh, West Ham needs soup from the soup dragon. From the soup dragon, I never watched soup dragon, but it all oh, hit the flex corner. West Ham started to put pressure on now. Started to start to up the pace, up the ante. Um, it made me think of uh, what are they called little little geezers, and there's a dragon on. They live on the moon. Can't remember what's called. Oh, Bob the Builder is a big play on a night out. Bob the Builder theme song is a bit. I'll tell you what bangs. Bob the Builder's cover of Mumbo Number no. 5. A little bit of timber and a saw. A little bit of mixing. That's for sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of big ones there. Uh, Charlie should play the Nickelodeon All-Star Ball. I haven't yet. You're right, though. I want to get involved. I've got a couple of friends who are competitive Smash players. Melee, specifically. I've got one friend who's a Melee uh, competitive player and one friend who, who was doing competitive Smash all up until very recently. But I, I've been looking at Nickelodeon All-Star Ball from a far mulch, and I'm quite 
I do want to get involved with it. And then there's the other one that just got announced, the Warner Brothers one, which looks bad, <laughs> which is a shame because of the characters. But um, Corner for West Ham whipped in over everyone and a really awkward hook away. Uh, oh, Longello does well to keep that in. He didn't need to. It would have been a throw in, but he does it anyway to keep the chance alive. Whips it in. Crowd's almost there. Almost from West Ham United. I'll tell you what, we're getting closer. This is usually when we'll concede, but we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Knock, knock. It's happening. Oh, almost destroyed the entire world there. That's fine. It's happening. The introduction of just even just the introduction of Ben Rahm has made West Ham just a little bit more dangerous up front. Um, Zagreb looking a little bit shaky, but they've managed to get the ball into our half now. Trying to control it in and around there. So good from them. They've passed it back and instantaneously, the second it goes into the half, this is what I'm saying. The second it goes into the half, Yarmolenko starts pressing. Sonny Perkins starts pressing. Yarmolenko battles well there, forces them back once again. Getting in and involved. Bob the Builder would be great, creative cam. Yeah, 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 he could do anything. Make it, make the best out of a poor situation. They have a new theme song. What, what do you mean? How could you improve on perfection? Why would you change it? You nailed it first time. You nailed it first time. Why would you do it? Uh, well, she was here at half time. She's a super busy person. Got a lot going on. Um, but she was here at half time. Um, I didn't get to speak to her because, again, I, I flew off. But she's all right. No, she's good. She's just, just a busy person. The clangers. The clangers. Yes. The clangers. That's what I was thinking of. Clangers. Thank you. Spurs Savage. Never seen your name before, but I appreciate you coming through with the knowledge. I needed it. I needed it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four turtles. Turtles, that's the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme, in my, in my opinion. In the same way that the best Spider-Man theme song is uh, the old cartoon one. Or the X-Men one. You know what I mean? Magic Roundabout, Zebedee and that. Big plays. Big plays. Respect that. Another good theme song. Brum just used to go to the shops and steal stuff. Not his own left talk criminal. Bruv, you never expect it. You never expect it from a small sentient car you never expect it. it just came in just robbed the joint blind Zagreb getting forward well because there is a full match on cuts this way and that Harrison Ashby defends well clears it out for a throw in as well not even a corner good work good work Ashby let's keep going I want to see everyone's glossing over Power Rangers I see his thing I never watched Power Rangers but again another another good theme song you know Another good theme song. I was thinking, yeah, I just never watched Power Rangers. But I, couldn't, I was trying to think, did I? No, I didn't. Tell you something great at Backfire. I swear they're like eight feet. Yeah, they are massive, aren't they? They're bloody big boys. It's like when you see Blobby on television now and you're like, he's a, he's a large, large dude. Roly poly oly mad techers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, we never had Dragon Tales either, either, Lucas. You're pulling out these things that I need to get involved with. I need to learn. Do you know what I mean? I need to need to deep zip. The Tasmanian Devil. Yes, my favourite as a child. I fucking love. I loved Taz. The Looney Tunes were good. Taz was great. Step above. Oh, Longello just getting gripped up by the Zagreb defender there. But West Ham have forced Zagreb back into their own half. And again, Zagreb are here to hold it. They are here to just hold tight. They're not trying to really step to West Ham in any big major way at the moment. They're just trying to hold them off. Uh, and again, they're 1-0 up against a team heavily consisting of youth players. Uh, and the people who aren't youth players are mostly not starters for the main team. And so you would suspect them to do Ben Ramadan's well there, try and Trying to just little step overs, trying to make him force into an issue. Zag, oh, crowd, it was a nice idea, but no one went for it. But it was a really good idea. But again, one of those situations where Zagreb are just happy to sit back, to hold on, to just defend, basically. And I don't, I don't blame him for it. I respect it. Um, it's giving us the opportunities that we need to be taking. We need to be taking. All right, I'm going to stop talking about kid shows for a minute. But what I will say is. Where is it? I just saw it. Where is it? 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 I'm seeing Samurai Jack. I'm seeing Virtual Van Dipsy, which is just excellent work. 
Where's the love for Rugrats? Thank you very much, Lewis. Rugrats, unreal show. Excellent films. The second one still makes me cry to this day. Do you know what I mean? The bit when they're like at the beginning, when they're at the dance and it is Chucky and it, they're, they're at the wedding and the DJ is like, this next song's for all the kids and their mums. And he doesn't have a mum. He just has a dad. And the song's like, you're not alone. And then he like, has to argue, he's like all sad by himself and his dad comes and hugs him. Oh, still makes me cry to this day. Just, just can't deal with it. Or the other bit, the second bit, when they're on the plane and then he, all the kids are like being hugged by their mums again. And then he looks out the window and then there's like the shit, there's that like a cloud in the shape of his mum. And it's like, you're not alone, bruv. Can't be dealing with it. Can't be dealing with it. Tommy Pickles, baby man, them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Making more changes now on Zagreb. Oh, it's their captain coming off for Damien for the number 31. Can't tell you anything about their players, but there you go. They've gone very defensive, have Zagreb. Um, and I respect it. Like I said, they're away from home. They're one up in Europa League in a game they really could use to win. Um, a win would do wonders for them, uh, and whereas nothing would do wonders for us. Um, so I understand why they're doing it. They're certainly sitting deep and defending, but but I do think there's a level of uh, I do think there's a level of just being like accepting what it is. And at that stage, the question becomes how can we break them down? It's Boo Lats who's coming on for a, a Damien. So yeah, you have to look at it and you have to say, okay, well, how do we break them down? If that's the tactic, if that's the movement and that's fair enough, then instead of it being a question of, you know, can we counter against them? Can we do this? Can we do that? I feel like, I feel like um, we need to step up a little bit. Um, we've made some positive substitutions or we made a positive substitution when you brought on Ben Rama for Fanaus. Um, again, I understand David Moyes isn't going to want to commit those players, but, um, when we're in a position like this where we're getting a lot of possession in their half and they're basically just letting us do what we want with it, I would have preferred to see for now stay on just to really tie the screw. Because again, I'm of the mindset you go out to win every single match. I know that's not realistic. Ben Rama looking for the ball over the top. So I can't quite find him. Sonny Perkins is there trying to find something. Anyone? Crow tries to lay it off first time. Can't. Zagreb trying to hit the counter attack do all right but yeah it becomes it becomes a situation where i wanted to see us keep ben ram uh keep uh keep four nails on when ben rama came on as well just to keep adding the pressure just to keep cranking it up a little bit but in that sense i don't really know who you take off because unlike other people i don't think yamalek has played that badly and i don't think you can take off last because i think he's actively playing well um but still there again like he's done well there to find perkins perkins under pressure plays it back Perkins just looks a little bit overruled by the situation. Um, throw in for Dagreb right by their corner flag. Uh, but then at that point, you need to think about it. Uh, Curvenord, any bells? Yes, my friends. They are here. If we get the calls for the baby bells, I'll, I'll, I will begin the democratic process. I'll begin the democratic process. And remember, everyone, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are here doing watch alongs every single match day. And as you can tell, even when it's a match where not a lot is happening and it's not going our way, we'll just talk about children's TV shows and that's fine with us. <laughs> so make sure to come back because this sort of show does not happen without you. You are a vital part of it. Um, I can, you can't do a watch wrong without getting involved, without having a chat like you people. So please do, please do come back. Um, good sack of bells. Good sack of bells. There we go. If we, if we get two call, or if we get three calls to consume the bells, then I will fully get involved. So yeah, subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Thank you, Elie Place. Appreciate it. Lies, but I appreciate it. Um, 10 out of 10 with Bell again. Yes, yes. Dynamo play and look like Animal from the Puppet Show. Great drama. Probably my favorite Muppet. Muppet Race Mania on PS1, underrated kart racing game. I'm just putting it out there. Muppet Monster Adventure, decent. Eat the bells, bells, baby bells ringing, bells, bells. Eat it for the lads. All right, well, I'll put the poll up. I'll put the poll up. We've had enough calls. We've had enough calls for bells. Hopefully the poll and the pinned one can exist at the same time. But there we go. 
It should be in the chat now. There should be a poll. Have a gander. You have until 76. And if the poll says yes to the bell, the bell shall be consumed. But we'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Again, I think it should be in chat. I don't actually know. Because there's a pinned chat. So I don't know if you can do both. I hope you can. Um, but you have until 76. You have a minute and a half. It is there. I can see it. There we go. Remember, this is whether or not you, you think we should bell for luck. Whether we should get involved with the baby bell. My hand shakes so much it never focuses. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. There we go. But it's there. You know it's there. We're having a bell. Mario Kart double dash. Here's a story very quickly. Oh, Pingu was a baller. Yes, Lewis. Um, very quick story. Well, nothing's happening in a pitch. Zagreb are passing around in midfield. Who cares, right? Listen. So when I was a kid, my dad moved to New York. Um, my dad moved to New York when I was like, this was, a, this was it, I was going to say the time. Mario Kart Double Dash was the Mario Kart game I was at the time. Um, and the people he moved in with were, uh, he moved in with two blokes, a Scottish guy and an Israeli guy. And the Israeli guy and all of his mates ran a sort of competitive Mario Kart tournaments between them and all of their mates where they would put money down. And they had, he lived in this old, old converted warehouse and on the wall, they would project the GameCube onto the wall, Mario Kart Double Dash and all play for money. And when I was there, I played and absolutely just <laughs> absolutely rinsed them all because I loved Mario Kart Double Dash. I flipping loved that game. But, and the Israeli guys, they were super nice. And I remember when I left, um, and this would have been about the time Ben Ayun was playing for us as well. It's 2005-ish, whatever it was, right? They When we were getting in the cab to go back to the airport, me and my mum, to come back to the UK, my dad was obviously staying and stuff. And when we were getting in the cab, the Israeli guy came up to me, the one that my dad lived with. He came up to me and he went, Yossi Ben Ayun. And I was like, bruv, trust me, I like Yossi Ben He's like, Yossi, you got to get a shirt with Yossi Ben Ayun and West Ham will win. And I never did. I mean, never won. Maybe I should have. But flipping out, what a game that was. What a game that was. Ball over the top, West Ham, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper, not even close. Loved a bit of Mario Sunshine as well. Yes. 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 <laughs> Just big da 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 da. The flipping. The, when you'd go into the, the secret caves and they take away your flood jetpack and it'd be like, do, 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 Ah, yes. Love that. <laughs> After playing Rainbow Road. Yeah, being on a trip when playing Rainbow Road, probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. An exciting stat for the game there. Two shots on target for West Ham, four from Zagreb. That's the kind of vibes this game has been. Not exciting is what I would say for the most part. Good to see the youth players get a run out. Difficult game, but ultimately, eh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Luigi's Mansion was the boy. Mario. 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 Oh. 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 My drunk parents say <laughs> John Bonham reincarnated. Okay, who is John Bonham? I feel like I know the name, but I can't place the face for some reason. Although I could just look. Oh, that's a good opportunity for Zagreb. Pull it across. Cleared away. Good opportunity, but he couldn't quite get a shot. I know the name, but I can't put face. But then I probably should just look at the camera, and that's probably who it is. But shout out to Celtic Howard's drunk parents. Hello, you're right. Hope you're well. <laughs> We Sports Tennis banged. We Sports Tennis banged, bro. All of We Sports banged. I never played the second one, but bloody hell, the flipping vote. The vote, it went 68%. Yes, we're in. We're in bell territory, people. It's happening. I completely forgot. I got distracted. This is what happens when people distract me with flipping Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash, by the way, which was never topped. Mario Kart 8 came close, but it is not Mario Kart Double Dash. The Russell is done. We're now onto the silent snack portion of the baby bell. Get excited. Uno. Dos. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Get involved in what we're going to do. Hang on. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Bell occurring. 
Let the freedom ring. Yes. Yes. My TV is crashing. My TV's crashing. I would prefer if it didn't do that. Might just have to eat this instead of watching that. No. That's what's going to happen, apparently. Another substitution here for Zagreb. We'll see what happens. Not by me. Okay, we're a little bit further ahead than we were. What a time to be alive. Because that's how TVs work, apparently. Also, that's probably why Yossi Ben Ayun is one of my favorite West Ham players of all time. What a boy. What a boy Yossi Ben Ayun was. Bell complete. Win incoming. Let's go. Ooh, win incoming. Big plays. Big plays, people. Number 39 does well for Zach Greb, but just wriggles his way out of it. Wriggles his way out. But it was a good opportunity on when he just Mark Noble lets him pass, apparently. Don't know why he let number 31 pass like that, but he did. Dave Moyes is not committing to this game in any way, shape, or I think he's quite happy. I, uh, to be honest with you, I think Dave Moyes, look, he won't say this, but um, he will, I think he's sort of vaguely calm about this situation. I think he'll just keep it like this. He doesn't seem to be gunning for it in any sort of significant manner, which is fair enough. But yeah, it's not happening, is it? It's not, it's not happening. The Led Zeppelin drama. That's who it is. Thank you. I knew I knew it for some reason. Big plays. Led Zeppelin, man. I've only recently got into Led Zeppelin a couple of like a couple of years ago, maybe, maybe a bit after that. I don't even know why. I've always known Led Zeppelin, but I just never got into them. But yes, Led Zeppelin, thank you. I'm an idiot, of course. Of course. Bell Station. When it happens, I should change it and put like a babe station style of thing on it that says Bell Station. Maybe I'll do that. If I can be bothered. Maybe I'll do that. Again, Jack Black is another one. That's very, yeah, yeah, I 100% see that one. I 100% see that one. He probably is more surprised that the youngsters are doing as well as they are. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is if you were going to take anyone off, I guess, to try and in positively influence this game, you'd have to take off a youngster. Maybe if Ashby or... Oh, we're getting, we are getting against on Steve Potts' son, Freddie Potts, is coming on. Um, I assume he's probably the brother of Danny Potts, who, of course, played under Allardyce as a left back. I think he's at Luton now. There's also another player coming on. I'm not sure who for. I did see Kevin Dolan barking or someone else, but it does look like Potts is coming on. Someone in the chat dabs there is saying, uh, Forson, Forson. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll be happy. To be honest with you, I'll be happy to see all the youngsters at this point, even if it is a 1 0 loss. Might as well, you know. Only if you do it if you wave the bell on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it in a seductive manner. You know what I mean? I could do a seductive. Is that seductive? Oh, Forson's the other one who's coming on. So it is definitely Forson. I can see him now. Appear Forson. Uh, Keenan? might be his first name again i made the graphic literally two days ago and i've already forgotten <laughs> but it looks like Apia forson and uh your boy Potts are coming on i think Potts, if i remember Potts is a forward a striker or a winger and forson is a midfielder but at this point like you say there's a situation where we aren't it's not happening for us. This is this has a this has a a vibe of something that could just run out into a, a boring one 0 at this point. So why not just bring the youngsters on, give them a chance, let them try and do something special for the last ten minutes? I would have done it maybe a little bit. Yeah, 
Uh, which younger is going to make it the first team? Uh, Ashby, Ashby's looked decent, but he's obviously got a lot of competition ahead of him. Elisi, I thought, has looked brilliant. I've been super into Elisi. Um, out of the ones we've seen so far today, those were the two, I would say. Those were the two, I'd say. Scott spamming it. Thank you very much, Scott. Appreciate it. Remember, 300 lights, and we'll use the bell wax as a bikini. Uh, in private and never publicly. Never publicly. No one wants to see the skin around these nips. I was going to say these nips, but then I realized you, it would be the bit around it. But I appreciate it regardless. Thank you very much. Like the video if you haven't already. Ten out of ten would like again. Come on, come on. We're actually dangerously close. When I looked at it last, we we're at like two fifty something. So we're dangerously close. We're dangerously close to the three hundred mark. I'm not gonna lie. Free kick gonna happen before West Ham bring the youth players on. Free kick in a good area, in a good area for West Ham. Ben Rama standing over it. He's this this be a good opportunity if you. Little lofted one to the back post, maybe. He hits it at the goal easy enough into the hands of Livakovic, who's given the excuse to fall to the floor to, to waste some time. I think a, a good whipped ball into the back post would have been a lot more dangerous than the shot there. I respect him going for it, but yeah, I would have gone for it. I would have uh, would have gone for the whip. The whip. The You know what I mean? The um, He's like due back under the top, bro. Look how flipping... It's not... It's not unlikely. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, right, here we go. The subs are happening. The subs are happening. Potts is coming on for Yarmolenko. I think Yarmolenko has been all right today. Not going to lie. I don't think he's been brilliant, but I think he's been all right. Um, but Freddie Potts coming on, always good to see. At the same time, we're seeing Forson come on. It'll be for either Crowell or Noble, I suspect. Noble. I thought I'd prefer Crowell, just to get Noble in there. So Perkins, okay. Right. Defend, apparently. Let's take off the striker on the pitch. Unless, is Potts a striker? Maybe Potts is a striker and I'm wrong. Again, I did do the graphic like two days ago. I've already forgotten. Uh, 300 likes of the bill to balance on your belt. Again, not publicly. Also, not personally. I don't know. I, wanna, I don't want any dick cheese interaction. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be allowed on the internet. But Morrow tried to take the initiative since he came on, but it would be better served if he tried to create for others. Yeah, I just, yeah. I think most of the time he's creating, but with that one, I'm like, ah, I wish he, I wish he went for the whipped cross there. Good to see Forson coming on. He was good in preseason as well. He was another player who was interesting during preseason. Never heard of him before that. But he's sort of small, tenacious player. To answer the questions. No, it seems like Vlasic has gone up front and uh, Potts is playing out wide. So, you know, it is what it is. Who needs a striker? Uh, who do you think will win Europa? West Ham, massive. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to relook at who's going through because I don't actually know. Noble's the one who stayed on, by the way. Collars popped like a boss. Plays it quickly to Ben Rama from the from the, from the uh, free kick. Whipped into the back post. Can't quite do much with it. No. No. None of that. None of that. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I saw Barca dropped into it. Um, I didn't see Dortmund dropped into it, but that was all Twitter was talking about yesterday. It was Barcelona versus West Ham, so. Potts looking to try and, try and harry his way in for the cross here. Doesn't beat the first man as per usual because that's just our idea. Longello hits it. Deflects. West Ham calling for a corner. Does the goalkeeper keep it in? No, it's a corner. At least he gets the ball off Livakovic, who is holding it close to his chest. Ben Rabat to take it again. Again, we do have this tactic of playing it into the front post, but it's just, it's a bad tactic. Although today, I guess it's probably a good tactic because we don't have big headers on the ball, but another one straight into the first man. Again, it is our tactic. No one hits the first man this consistently unless the idea is to try and play it into a runner at the front post. Longello tries to whip it back into the back post. Can't quite do it. Controlled out wide. Whipped once in again. Cross. There was a moment where at least see it could have happened. The ball came into him just outside the six yard box. He gets the chest on it. He it just he saw it a bit late. There was Baptiste jumping just ahead of him. I think he maybe thought one of him or the defender would get a touch on it. Ends up going into the hands of the goalkeeper. We've got two and a half minutes to go. At which point I will ask you, who do you think the Hammers chat chat man of the match is, ladies and gentlemen? I would ask you that. Whoever gets the most votes in the chat from sort of me eyeballing it uh, will be, of course, the winner. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh... Who am I going to go with? I'll go with Elise. Fair play. I think he's played really well. I've really enjoyed seeing uh, Elise tonight. I have. I'll, I'll give it to Elise, but I'm not the important one. The important people is you lot. Who is it? Who's your man of the match? Let me know. <laughs> look, at, look at you two, brother. Look, it's, it's, it's copy. just copy and pasted. Just copy and pasted. Also, the part of me who went to Catholic school is... Enjoying it because atheist. Um, Charlie's asking where Oco Flex is. He can't play in the Europa League group stages due to registration rules. So he was not able to play. I don't know whether he'll play in the stages past that. I don't think he will either. Because I think he might have turned out for Celtic in the cup already. But I might be wrong about that. But he didn't he wasn't able to play due to registration rules. Same reason why we couldn't see um Equa or any of the other young players that we signed in the summer. Uh, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Um, Sonny, Ashby, uh, Vlasic or Elisi. I'll go with Vlasic, uh, Elisi, Ariola, um, Charlie, definitely Charlie. No, Alex Kral, um, uh, Luke Yucky, sure, sure. Uh, Ashby, Elisi, Man of Match, David Martin. I'm, I'm disappointed he never got on, to be honest with you. I'm very disappointed he never got on. Uh, Sonny, Langello, uh, Chucky Finster, that goal, by the way, from Orsic, absolute screamer. I don't even know. Chuck. I feel like, again, there's something in the back of my mind is ringing, but I don't know. Um, Orsic is my man of the match. To be fair, that goal was outrageous. Uh, saving the goals for the Arsenal game, aren't you? Well, we'll see, Glenn. We'll see. We'll see what happens, mate. We'll see what happens. Postman Patino, of course, baller, delivered the, the deliveries for out wide, big plays. Oh, Elise almost gets in there. Oh, collision with the goalkeeper doesn't quite make it. Close though, close. Sunny and share. Uh, so from what it looked like, from what it looked like, I'm scrolling for again. I think it might be Elise Longello. Good to see you, Mike. Hope you're well, my bro. Uh, Longello, uh, Ariola, Elise, Ariola from Scott again. There was a couple for. Uh, we'll, we'll give it. We'll give it Ariola, Elise. Congratulations. I can't decide who who is the uh, the closest out of the two. Um, I think it was probably a tie between those two. Longello came close as well. But fair play to you both. Um, there you go. That is the one. Uh, we're about to see the full-time whistle here where it's going to end West Ham United nil. Uh, Zagreb won, unfortunately. Not to be today for West Ham. Um, just didn't create enough. There is the full-time whistle. Just didn't create enough. Good to see all of the academy players, but just did not quite get there in the end. Uh, always a pleasure. Always a Always a pleasure, my friend. Hope you're all good. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Was his name Finster? Was that his surname? Finster? I don't know how I feel about Chucky or his dad now. Chaz, not sure about that one. Finster? I mean, they, the other surname is Pickles, so maybe, but Finster? Don't know. But there you go. 
congratulations, Zagreb. I think that confirms them second place in the group, I believe. Um, and thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, remember, I am live every single match day doing watch alongs on this very channel um, without fail. I've only, got, I've only missed one since we started doing these, and that's because work got in the way. And that was the only thing that would stop me from doing it again. But make sure to come back because, of course, we need you to do this by myself. And so without you lot, this literally just isn't possible. It's not worth it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> and so we desperately need you to come back. So make sure to, hey, like the video, subscribe for the video, all of that good stuff. We'll be back, of course, with our full suite of match day coverage on Sunday, where it will be Burnley being the uh, the movement. It will be Burnley. So, hey, come and get involved in that. Come and get involved in that. But in the meantime, I'm spamming the link in the chat for you now to go and have a gander at the full time review. So make sure you go and check it out and see the breakdown from a, from a couple of people who actually know what they're talking about. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks once again. Come on, you irons. And until next time, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourself. Be good. Love your lives. See you later, everyone. Bye. Finster. Chucky Finster. Did not know. <laughs>